You may know her as Mariah Douglas, but we know her as that we should hang out sometime. Oh, wow. Not Angelo. Our little sneaky link. And he just texts Journey. Talk about we should hang out. And as soon as we came here, her mom was all shocked to see her. Like, didn't Mariah take her mom's whole face? Like, they look just alike, y'all. Like, Mariah and her mom, when Mariah was probably like six or seven. <gasps> Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back or to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Sierra, or also known as Sierra the Simmer, and this is my Sim 4 Let's Play that I like to call The Quad. If you haven't seen the last 11 episodes of season 1, then pause this video now and check the top right or the description box below so you can catch up on all those episodes you missed. And don't forget to hit that like button, share it, hit that subscribe button, and that bell so you are notified every time I post a new video. Now let's get straight into this Let's Play. Alright y'all, so today is finally the day that Mariah pledges Delta Sigma Theta. It starts at 9.16, so she is supposed to be going to a venue that I decorated and set up for her probate to take place. It's going to be indoors because it's a little cold now in my game. It's like December in my game. Even though she's pledging fall, it is technically December. So she is currently with her sorority sisters that are pledging with her. We got Mariah right here. Then her sisters. There will be 10 people total pledging this line. So this will be the fall 2021 Delta Sigma Theta line. And there's nine other people besides Mariah. So they are all in a circle ready to head over there and get ready to pledge. We got the head of the chapter, uh, Wanda McGinnis. I've showed this lot before. It's just like a little area where they meet and then Wanda's office is right here, as you can see. President of Sigma chapter and public relations. So, yeah, so it's supposed to start at 9.16 p.m. And we've come, come full circle. So we're finally about to do the pledging process. So all of them have glasses on and then they have this like red, they all have the same little Converse shoes, black jeans, and then like the little red over the shoulder Gucci little shirt, then the same head cover, same glasses. So yeah, so since it starts at 9.16, it's Saturday night. So Saturday night, 8.48 p.m. and it starts at 9.16, so they have like literally like 20 minutes or more 20 to 30 minutes to get there and the probate starts so i'm gonna have them head there and i will see y'all when we all right hey y'all we are here at emmanuel lewis hall this is a lot that i created specifically for this probate event but it can be used as like a classroom a place where the students can study a place where they can host events or you know, host speakers and stuff like that. So it's almost time for the probate to start. I just wanted to show y'all the front of the bill just to get a feel for it. So there's like a little parking lot in the front. Then there's a, like a little area where, you know, people like try to sell stuff or promote like clubs, events, that sort of thing. So there's like a little area right there for that. Um, then I got uh, a little board right here where they can like put like events that are happening there um and then i have a probate flyer on the front so it's the delta new initiate presentation 10 forces of distinction is what they're called so, because it's 10 of them 
And um, it says at the top that it starts at 916 and it's at Emmanuel Lewis Hall, which is this hall right here. Um, when we come in, let me get the camera going. So we're, there's just some posters, some um, Clark Atlanta posters at the front. There's two door, I mean, there's just one door. I don't know why I said it was two. But this is like one of the entrances. I think you can come through the, there. That's what I meant. But they each have their own table. You see them lined up, ready to get this started. Uh, nobody's here yet because the event has not actually started yet. But I have like everybody's balloons. So Mariah is number four. So I have Mariah's table. She has like a little teddy bear, an elephant, a letter M, some Delta Sigma Theta, like, you know, little gift baskets and stuff so this was really cute she's got her um line sisters balloons we got the ace the deuce the tray mariah then we got five six seven eight nine and then we got the tails balloons we got a 19 um 13 balloons so yeah um I'm going to go ahead and have them get in position. Hopefully the event starts and it's okay. But, um, yeah, so I just think I'm going to go through and show you everybody on the line at least. There's another poster here. I'm going to show you on the inside of the hall. I do have some teleporter statues on the stage just because I want to, like, place them where they need to be. But this is just a little event hall. Y'all see the teleport statues? That's where they're going to be. It's got a lot of seating so we have some seating area sort of like they can have class here so it's like an event hall uh some more um little banners from other schools and we got clark and Linda in the middle and just yeah so and there's a classroom over there where that door is and yeah so yeah so hopefully this initiate presentation goes well they're also having a cabin trip after this uh, so today's Saturday. Their cabin trip is Sunday, Monday, and I think they come back Tuesday afternoon. So they'll be at this cabin for like two days. So uh, we have the ace right here. Her name is Kennedy Grayson. The deuce on Janelle Vila. We got Devin McCain as the tray. We got Miss Mariah, the main character, as number four. We got Dynasty Cooley as number five. Number six is Brianna Reed. Number seven is Aminata Ebai. Then we have Kasia Daly as number eight, right? Did I miss number eight? Because number nine is Malaysia Palmer. And then we have Journey Small. So they all have their own individual names that I gave them based on their personality and just how they are. So each of them have their own personal little line names so we're gonna get this started in the next clip will probably be me showing y'all them on stage or the event starting but before i get into that i did have a few people over here so we have you know the chapter president wanda mcginnis president mcginnis this is actually mariah's aunt this is her mother's sister she's actually on the board too her name is christina owens and then this is Shari Moulton. She is on the chapter. Um, and then we have the line leader. She's like controlling the, their line. So she's in charge of, you know, the probate, how everybody's dressed. She got everything in order. We got Ashley Miller. She pledged like two springs ago, I think. Then we have Angel Jefferson. I don't remember when she pledged, but we have, of course... Jocelyn Murdoch, which she pledged years ago. And then we have Kenya Dumas. She pledged with Angel. They have the same little outfit going on. And then she pledged with um, Ashley to Rain, but I think it was like either last spring or the spring before that. But yeah, so we're going to get into this. I know I keep freaking saying that, but we're literally going to get into it. All right, y'all. So everybody's in line, but they're probably going to get out of line. Um... The event starts at 9 o'clock. Well, I couldn't put 9, 13 or whatever time I told y'all earlier. I think I put 9, 16 on the poster. It's supposed to start at 9, 13 because they were founded in 1913. So the time I wanted the actual event to start was 9, 13 instead of 9, 16. That was a mistake on my part, putting that on the poster. But yeah, so I'm going to probably have them like talk. And I don't know what's going on with her, but they keep reacting to her and it's really about to irritate me. 
I'm about to remove Mariah from the family real quick just so I can see what's going on with Ashley. I'm going to add her to the family and then see what's going on. She's chatting. I'm going to just make sure she's all good. All her levels are good because I don't know what's going on. Uh, let's remove her from the family. Add Mariah back. And yeah, so I'm going to have them all probably go in. They all, of course, got out of formation. Uh, but I'm gonna have Mariah say hey to her aunt. She was about to what she was about to do Um, See what's happening. I hate That so much like oh my gosh, really? So I'm gonna have her just say hey to um, Her aunt real quick Ask about family bam so Just waiting for the event to start I'm gonna ha I'm probably gonna teleport them on stage when everybody starts showing up um all right um <laughs> late reaction um so she's she's talking to her aunt i'm gonna have a few of them start walking in all right i thought the event was supposed to start hold on all right so i'm probably gonna have to teleport people here it's 9 18 and the event's supposed to be starting so what i'm gonna do and i'm actually i'm actually gonna show this part is i'm gonna teleport everybody on stage so the ace is kennedy so we're gonna teleport her and then we have the deuce which is on janelle vila which is right here we got the tray which is who's the tray devin mccann which she's right here. Of course, Mariah's number four. So we're gonna put Mariah there. Then number five is Dynasty Cooley. So we're gonna put her there. Then we're gonna teleport and put number five with, not number five, number six, which is Brianna Reed. Where's she at? Reed. Number six. Number seven is Aminata Ebi, which, which is right here. Seven. Is Kasia Daily, which is right here. Then we got, uh, hold on, let me make sure I teleport the right person. That is Malaysia Palmer, which she's right here. And then the tail, which is literally the last person on the line, is always called the tail. Her name is Journey Small, so we need to go in S's, and she's the tallest. Usually, typically, it goes in high order, which you see I tried to do something like that. I made Journey really tall, and everybody you know, it's short in the front and it just kind of goes medium and then very tall. So we got everybody ready on stage. Um, I think I'm going to turn off this room and then like turn on this light and make the color like red. So maybe, so I really wanted to show y'all like me setting up the stage cause I think this is so cool. And maybe turn on like a few of the lights in the, on, you know, in the audience so that it's not so dark. So, maybe that one and then one over here. So this really sets the scene. Um, maybe turn on this, turn on this light and then set it to be red. So set the color for this light to be red and then turn on this light over here too. And then set it to be red. So set color and intensity to this light as red. I wanted the stage to be red. I thought that would be really cool. We got both of the posters for the initiate presentation on the side. We got a TV. So this is the stage that they'll be like doing their probate quote unquote on. Even though, you know, I can't really do that. There's not really a mod where they like literally go in the middle and dance. But I could do that. Like have them go and do like a pose and introduce them with their line names. Uh, but I got to get everybody here because apparently um, my event. Uh, like didn't happen or like it didn't pop up because when I did have them travel to the event earlier like my game went to the home page so I was like okay so I'm gonna go ahead and teleport everybody that I actually want here at the event and the next thing will probably be everybody's either seated or
All right, y'all. So everybody's information, as you can see, I have all the girls lined up. And they are at their new initiate presentation. I had Mariah's aunt. I had her come up and do a speech. She stopped talking, though, so I don't even know what's going on. Now, look at all these people that showed up, and they're just all over the place. Like, the only person sitting down is Mariah's little boo thing. He is, like, I'm supporting my baby. Shoot. Why is he the only one sitting down? Like, look at all these seats and all these people just standing up. This is Mariah's best friend, Arion. Uh, who's outside? I need to check to see who's out here. Um... Jamari's outside. A couple of the old girls are outside. We got Mariah's. Where's Mariah? Mariah's, uh, I think her niece or something. Not her in here trying to get cute. But, um, yeah, so I'm gonna have each of them individually, like, step up and, like, do a little dance, something. And I'm gonna introduce them. So, yeah. So people are just standing around. Let's pretend you know. Her aunt is giving a speech. Uh, we have Kennedy right here, which is the first one. I don't think I have her in, so I'm gonna uh, remove Anjanelle, add Kennedy, and I'm gonna have her come up. Not her walking on stage, like, huh? Y'all, they be walking on stage, like, y'all see them coming up on the stage? Like, I knew this was about to be a fail. Let me try to get a cute little, you know, picture, little thumbnail. Not a thumbnail, but like, you know, a little picture before the chaos begins. But, um, what was about to do? Okay, so I'm gonna have, um, since Kennedy is the ace, she's posing, but I'm gonna have her get up and come, like, you know, pretend like she's talking on the mic. All right, is she gonna do it? Like, what? We don't got all day, it's 10 o'clock. All right. All right, so, this is Kennedy Grayson. Let's pretend, you know, she's introducing. Well, it's supposed to be Ashley, but I couldn't get her up here. So this is Kennedy Grayson. She is a sophomore at Clark Atlanta. You may know her as Kennedy Grayson. But we know her as Miss Destructible. So she's gonna get up. Her line name is Miss Destructible. She's gonna get up and you know, do a little dancey dance. Y'all gonna be so mad if one of them move. Cause that's what happens. Like when they're posed, they'll like move. Broom, do, 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 do. All right, so she's getting up here. This is our ace, number one. Y'all, why are the Sims acting like they're slow? Like, for real. Like, I'm getting irritated. Alright, so she did her speech, whatever. Bam, boom. I'm not about to play with her. So she's gonna go over here. Okay, so we're gonna have Aunt Janelle. Alright, so this is Aunt Janelle. You may know her as Aunt Janelle Vila, but we know her as Double Take. Double Take is her line name. All right, so I'm about to remove her and add her to the family. And I'm about to have her come up to the front. So she do her little dancey dance. Come on. Like, what is really the problem? All right, so we just introduced number two, double take on Janae. I don't know why she's not, like, coming up here. Like, come on. Anyways, I'm about to just teleport her over here because we didn't got all day. It's almost 11 o'clock. Are people sitting down? Like, look at all these people right here. Like, oh, wow. Um, nobody's sitting down at all except Kalia. Kalia's sitting down. Anyways. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I'm about to get so irritated, like. All right, who's next? Um, Devin McCann, so I'm gonna stop her from posing. All right, y'all, so this is Devin McCann. She is also a sophomore here at Clark Atlanta University. You may know her as Devin McCann, but we know her as 
prominent distinction and she's number three she's up you know talking her stuff up there look at her. i'm dead y'all i just did a random animation she's doing the act like you know act like you know tiktok or whatever child this was a hot mess and the tail stood up like they are all over the place but um she's done so we introduced devin she took off her glasses so we see who she is um, i'm gonna just get a little screenshot in because i literally wish there was a mod where this could like i could like portray this a lot better because i invited way too many sims like i always do and they're not she's over here doing push-ups like not push-up sit-ups she's not even doing her speech which i feel like if she did the speech she's up on the violin or whatever it's called um but Devin is done, so I'm gonna reset her and put her over here. And then next up, we got Mariah. Mariah gotta have, um, please ignore the time, because I probably am going to skip back so the time won't be two in the morning, they're still here. But uh, Mariah is next, so I'm gonna remove Devin from, Devin move, finally. So, um, I'm gonna actually remove Devin from the family because I'm about to try to have um, Mariah's aunt give a speech. This See, this is why I shouldn't put TVs up here because why are the people in the audience continually trying to turn on the TV? So I'm going to add her aunt to the family and then have her give speech. Turn off the TV like, y'all, I'm over it very much over it all right so mariah is next we're gonna reset mariah all right of course we need to have mariah have a good scene you may know her as mariah douglas but we know her as destined for greatness y'all get it she's number four so destined for greatness all right so she's destined for greatness I'm gonna have her change her outfit to the outfit without her glasses. So it's like realistic, like they take their glasses off and stuff. So what I usually do, I should have clicked change outfit. Change outfit. Cause we literally are gonna be here all day trying to get through all 10 of them. It's only um six of them left. So we're gonna do change outfit, right? That's what I was trying to do. Hold on. Change outfit. Okay, let's change it to the one without the glasses, which is, I think the one before it. Yep, there we go. And I'm gonna have Mariah go up here. Oh, am I on the right person? Yeah, she needs to change her outfit. All right, so we got Destined for Greatness, Miss Mariah. We got Miss Mariah Hendricks. She just officially pledged over she took her glasses off so she's been revealed so let's go here y'all don't know why they're not going here like every time i click go here it's like they can't go right there but anyways i'm gonna have her go across the stage look random people walking across the stage okay it's something going on with this area right here because um they won't go i'm about to destroy all these tvs okay i'm gonna shift click destroy because y'all about to piss me off with these TVs, they keep turning on the TVs. All right, so Mariah walk, is walking across, I think. Where, is this her? Hold on, oh no, Mariah walked across. Okay, so you're officially a Delta Sigma Theta, girl. I'm so proud of you. All right, so we got the next person. Number five, let's reset her. I'm controlling her, she's a part of the family. So you may know her as Dynasty Cooley, but we know her as the Dynasty, period. And so I'm gonna have her change her outfit to her outfit without the glasses, so it looks like she took her glasses off, revealed her face, bam, boom. So change outfit, let's change the outfit to the outfit without the glasses, which I think is the one before. All right, so Dynasty, she is also a sophomore. I think all of them are sophomores, except maybe one. Look at him, just on the stage all right so no he didn't take out a violin 
All right, y'all just ruined my probate, but you know, that's Sims for you. So Dynasty, Dynasty is officially revealed. Dynasty pledged over. So once they take their glasses off, they're pledged over. So Dynasty pledged over. I'm gonna have her go here. Congratulations to Dynasty. She just officially pledged Delta Sigma Theta. She is revealed. Anybody with glasses still on aren't revealed. I think Ace still got her glasses on, child. She she didn't understand the assignment. He over here giving us uh practicing acting, I think. Like ugh, I should have deleted the stairs so that way nobody could get on the stage once they were on the stage. But I'm I'm not controlling Ace, so she still got her glasses on, but y'all get the gist. Let's pretend she took her glasses off. All right, next we got number six. We're almost done, y'all. Y'all probably like, girl, this is chaotic. But y'all know me. When it comes to my channel and I have events, it's going to be chaotic. Best believe. So we got number six. I'm going to reset her. And I am controlling her. Yep. So right here. You may know her as Brianna Reed. But we know her as Dime Peace. So I'll probably put at the bottom like their line names at the bottom just to give it you know that feel and then some probably some information about them but i'm gonna have brianna take her glasses off and do a little dancey dance but i don't got time to do an animation dance so she's let's pretend she danced or whatever and let's change outfit to the one without the glasses and then i'm gonna have her walk over and cross over okay once they walk over and cross over and their glasses are off they have pledged so brianna is officially pledged oh, no he didn't no, he didn't. They are ruining my, my freaking probate. All right, so what is her name? Who just pledged over? Brianna. She's walking over. All right, Brianna officially pledged over. We got chaos going on in the back. So Brianna pledged over. Next, we have number seven, which is Aminata Ebai. I'm going to reset her so she stands up from her pose. You may know her as Aminata Ibai, but we know her as Underestimated. Number seven, I'm going to have Aminata. Am I controlling her? Yep, I am. So I'm going to have her go ahead and change her outfit to the one without glasses, which I think her outfit is messed up because I had to replace her again into the family. So her outfit might be a little different. See, y'all see how she got uh, red pins and everybody else got black pins? Yeah, I messed her outfit up. But she officially pledged over. Y'all get the gist. I'm going to have Aminata walk over. Let's pretend she didn't understand the assignment and she wore red pins. Aminata officially crossed over. She's a Delta Sigma Theta girl. Okay. We're down to the last three, which is... Who's left? After Aminata is 8, 9, and 10. So... We got number eight, which is Kasia Daly. Let's reset her. I think I'm controlling her. Yep, I am. All right. You may know her as Kasia Daly, but we know her as Distinguished Divinity. And I'm about to change her outfit. So this is number eight of the line, the 10 Forces of Distinction. And we will reveal her face. So we're going to do change outfit. Oh, I'm not on her. Let me get it together. So I'm going to click Kasia. And then do change outfit. So she changes her outfit to the one without glasses, which is this one, I guess. And I'm going to have her change her outfit. All right. So Kasia is about to change her outfit. And she is officially a Delta Sigma Theta woman. Glasses off, face revealed. She has officially pledged, but she officially, officially pledges when she walks across. So let's go ahead and walk across. We're la down to our tail line. Kasia has pledged. You know, you see people walking. The girl that's supposed to be announcing is Ashley because she was in control of the line. But y'all see all this? Like, come on now. Like, y'all expect all these people to act right? Not Ariane with attitude. <laughs> she is ready to go. All right, so they are down to the last two. T uh, she messed it up, so I'm gonna go ahead and pose her just for the look of it. The poses that I use for my Divine Nine, they're by Rye Crazy. I'm about to show y'all Rye Crazy, so I'm gonna use this. I usually, for the tail, I'm gonna do the um fortitude pose and i'm gonna see if 
she does the fortitude pose. Y'all, why did she just glitch? All right, we're down to our last few people. All right, so she's doing the fortitude pose. This is our tail. Now we're down to Malaysia, but she is glitched. Like, what? I'm gonna reset her. And then, all right, she's she's back good. All right, you may know her as Malaysia Palmer, but we know her as Angelic Jewel. And so I'm gonna have her change her outfit. I'm probably gonna put some information about them on the side because I don't got time to tell y'all their grade and their likes and interests. So let's change outfit to the outfit without the glasses, which is um this one, I believe. All right. So once she changes her outfit, I'm going to have her walk across, which that will mean she officially pledged. All right. Malaysia is last on the line. She is about to walk across and pledge. She's officially a Delta Sigma Theta woman. Look at her face. Not you looking like that when you're about to pledge. All right. So Malaysia officially pledged, and she's a Delta Sigma Theta woman. Let's pretend all these people in the crowd are watching. Why are you looking like that? Anyways, it is a tight crowd. We now we got the tail, which let me see. I need to remove Christina because she never was given a speech. It's like she started the speech and never and never finished it, or she just didn't do the speech for long. So let's remove her and add um the tail because I don't think she's a part of the family. Let's oh wait, is she is she all oh, she is? All right, so Journey. I'm gonna have Journey go up to the mic. I need him to move. Alright, so I'm going to have, see if Journey can come up here. Girl. Alright. Well, let's look at them trying to get on the mic. Like, really? Let me pause real quick. Alright. Let's just do this like this. You may know her as Journey Small, but we know her as taylor made so since she's the tail that's her line name taylor made um you know because she's tall she's like six foot two she got to get all her clothes personally tailored they're letting me know i'm not about to start a period but what why <laughs> why right now all right anyways i'm about to have her change her outfit to her outfit without the glasses she's gonna officially pledge and in the probate because this was chaotic and it's almost one in the morning but i'm about I'm gonna definitely go out of game so that it goes back to like 11 ish so that w that way they can you know mingle go to a party whatever is left so let's see I think I clicked the wrong outfit let me go back I'm about to probably cut out a few things in here because y'all know I get so irritated when things are chaotic and when it don't go my way all right so she's about to change her outfit all right She's officially a Delta Sigma Theta woman. Let's walk across. All right, so introducing the 10 distinction, 10 forces of distinction. We have Kennedy Grayson, Ajanel Vila, Devin McCain, Mariah Hendricks, Dynasty Cooley, Brianna Reed, Aminata Ebai, Kasia Daly, Malaysia Palmer, and Journey Small. Y'all got something written down on the side, y'all. I'm not just remembering any of these on the top of my head. All right, so all of them are officially Delta women. Uh, where is Kennedy? Because she didn't take her glasses off. But all right, so that's the end of the probate. Let's clap for all the women and all the hard work they put into getting here, pledging, crossing, becoming Delta women, and feel free to grab some refreshments, drinks, blah, 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 bam, boom. Let's pretend, you know, somebody was on the mic saying that, and everybody's hooting and hollering and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the scene and go make my time go back, and I will see y'all. All right, so that is the end of the probate. Mariah is dancing with one of her line sisters, Aminata, and here's Kasia, and uh, Malaysia. I think I turned headline effects off. But Mariah's done dancing. She's about to go over to Hadaya, one of her friends from her dorm. And she's about to ask her for a tampon or a pad. Mariah started her period out of nowhere. So she has been cramping. 
leading up to this pro bay and she's now currently dripping through her freaking jeans that is awful um let me see her mood so she looks okay um she's about to go ask Hadaya for a, a tampon or a pad real quick um i was just showing y'all around trying to be nosy to see what everybody's doing Hadaya's over here and there's some people over here there's some a lot of people over here people looking mean i think he's tired and ready to go but um people falling asleep not the aka sleep let me turn the headline effects back on y'all so i can be able to see who's who so you just type in headline effects on oh i forgot to mention i went before i closed the game out we're not closed the game out i paused it kept popping up. It says, wow, what a sim. Aminata thinks Kaden Col Calvert is cute. And then it said the same thing for Dynasty, the same thing for Kasia, and the same... Everybody on the line was saying Kaden was cute, except Malaysia thought Miles Lathan was cute. He's an alpha. Malaysia thinks he's cute. And then they were saying... Three people said Kaden was cute. He's right here. And Mariah actually has a love meter with him. Hold on. Well, she did. Hold on. Let's go to Mariah, her love meter. She does have like a little small love meter with Kaden. Brendan is here somewhere. We just haven't gotten around to talking to him. But I think he's over on the other side. Hold on. Uh. Okay. Okay, auntie. This is her husband, Kenneth which is Mariah's uncle. So this is Mariah's aunt, Christy. Then her uncle, Ken. Where is he at? Because I literally just seen him over here. He had a black Clark Atlanta sweat, like a crew neck on or something. Uh, I don't know. Uh, anyways. Uh, Mariah's about to go over and talk to Hadaya real quick. I don't know where Kalia or J Jay Lynn is at, but whatever. I mentioned before I'm going to go out of game and come back so that the time switches. Because y'all see that it's 2 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. Like, let's just pretend it's still, like, late at night. Like, 9 or 10. Well, not 9. Like, 10 o'clock. Uh, where's Mariah at? Is she asking her for the tampon? Did she even walk away? Let me close this out. She's supposed to be asking Hadaya for a tampon, but Mar she's not even over here anymore. Let's say, y'all, I just thought this was so funny. Remember in the beginning, I asked her aunt how her family is. Why did I switch control to the aunt? And her notification little thing popped up saying to mind her business. I'm dead. Not, she needs to mind her business. Okay. Devin looking all cute. Why she just standing there looking crazy? Where is Hadaya at? Like, I'm so confused. Like, we were about to ask her for a pad, and she's nowhere to be found. Let's see if we can ask Devin for one, because we got a pr pretty high meter with her. I don't know if we're waiting on Hadaya to come back over, because she was sitting here, and now she's gone. So, I'm going to try to click Devin and ask for a tampon, because she has nothing in her inventory. Like, nothing. Completely wiped out. Um, Ask about day... It's usually like an option to ask for tampon or pad, but I don't see it. Oh, here it is. Well, screw that. We're going to ask Devin for a tampon or pad because we are going through it. We need to go to the bathroom real quick because we're supposed to be taking pictures. Y'all see I put a bunch of teleporters like around their tables and I'm just going to have them take pictures or pretend at least. And Mariah's mom? Dang, did I even show y'all Mariah's mom? Where the heck is she at? There's so many people here. I don't even know where people are at the main girls are dancing though malaysia kasia dynasty amanada brie why did i'm okay there's amanada's name um uh, this is mariah's best friend from high school she looks tired she is ready to go i'm trying to see if i can find kalia or um brendan look at all these people ready to go like Sims be having me crack up, cracking up when they do this. Like, I lock all the doors and they just stand by the wall, hoping for a door to open, I guess. Um, that's her Uncle Ken. 
a bunch of other Clark Atlanta students. Uh, what's going on with her shirt? Oh, why does the CC do this? Okay. Naya McFadden. I do not see Brendan or Kalia. Like, what is going on? And people are falling asleep. I'm about to open the door soon because I low-key feel like I'm holding them hostage. But, um... I don't see Kalia or Brendan. I don't know if they just poof, disappeared, or I skipped over them. Um, I locked the classroom door, so they're not in there. Um, these are some alphas on stage. Alpha Phi Alpha. Oh no, this is a Kappa right here. Um, Daryl, but Miles and Brendan are definitely alphas. But yeah, uh, I guess this is her, uh, cousin, um, this Ken, Ken and Christie's daughter's daughter, so their granddaughter, I don't know, I guess it's her cousin, I guess. Anyways, oh well, um, I guess we're gonna try to see if we can ask it for a tampon. Alright, so we're asking, ooh, we're asking, um, Devin for a tampon. What did she say? Or did she even ask it yet? See, this is why my time goes by so quick because they take all day. It's telling me that people in my household have um, reached their twerking level skills. So a lot of them are at level four, I guess. Um, and she has not asked Devin for the tampon or pad yet. And Hadaya is just not making her way over here. But, uh, y'all, I'm about to just switch the pictures eventually, because what the heck? It went away. All right, so I'm going to see if I can ask her again. Um, it, oh, here it is. It's about to say it went away. Uh, what is going on? Y'all, I'm about to unlock this door because they, they're they ready to leave. Like, They were in no rush, though, to leave. Usually, they come running. Oh, my gosh. Why didn't she ask yet? Y'all, why is it 4 in the morning? At this point, forget everything that I wanted to do. Um, Come on. Here, she finally asked for a tampon or pad. Did she give her one? Oh my gosh, y'all. I wanted her to get... Oh, his Kalia's in the bath. I didn't even check the bathroom. Now, this bathroom is for male and female, so it's... It's him peeing for me. And then... Just... Okay, Kalia's right here. Oh, sure, who you, sure here you go. Finally, like, dang. We waited on this tampon or pad. I'm trying to see if there's any bathrooms available... There's somebody right here. I'm gonna cherish right here. Desiree, I'm gonna just put a tampon. She gave us a tampon. So Hadaya gave us a tampon. We're gonna go use it. Um, that's Kali's boyfriend, Clifton. Uh, okay, well, um, I guess we'll go put a tampon on. She is a part of... Delta Sigma Theta, she just doesn't have her outfit on. I don't know what's going on. I unlocked the door. I don't know why they're not leaving out. Uh, I think it's this one. Alright, she look this is what she was supposed to be wearing. Let's just meet her or something. I don't know. She looks really exhausted. Anybody else's game acting real, like, crazy? Because, like, why? Why? <laughs> At this point, I'm really confused. Some people are living, leaving out. Not our aunt leaving. I mean, not our... Yeah, our aunt. I don't know where the heck Mariah's mom went, but I guess. I'll probably show some pictures I took off screen on the side or do, like, a little slideshow. She was ready to go. Okay, she about to go get her some little plum bob, okay? Ken about to drop that plum bob. I don't even care no more, y'all. Y'all can understand my irritation because I've been... Oh, she finally went over there and respectfully introduced herself to um, 
Soror Courtney. Um. All right, so I'm gonna have everybody go in their station. So teleport. Um. What is her name? She's the small one, Grayson. Let's teleport. Oh, her mom is here. Her mom is right there. Okay. Uh, Kennedy's number one. I'm gonna teleport her by her table. All right, she looks cute. The number two is on Janelle. Let's teleport on Janelle. I guess I took her out the family. Her last name is Vila, so she'll be at the end unless she left. P. Yes, I don't see her anymore. Wow. Let's just summon her. That's always the perfect thing to do is summon them when they just leave. Her last name is V. La, so I need to look in the V's. Uh, I went way too far. Here we go. You thought you can leave us, but sh but you're right back here. Um, I think I decorated the table, so not her changing her outfit. Like, girl, how many people do I have? Three, six. Okay, so can I add on Janelle? Okay, let me add her. Then I'm gonna have her change. I'm sorry, this was all over the place, but I'm gonna have her change into her outfit. Dang, I forgot what category it was in. But this episode is supposed to be so cute. After this, um probate which went to you know went to it was terrible they're supposed to be going on a cabin trip for like two days i got them some matching pajamas they're gonna do like cute little activities together so off of that was gonna be fun this just did not come out the way i want why is this loading so slow like i don't even know what category i put her outfit in so i'm just choosing and guessing i don't even know what i clicked but anyways we're gonna um, teleport number three, which I didn't forgot who number three was, y'all already. Let me look at my little sheet. Okay, Devin is number three. She's third. I thought I had Devin in the family. Um. Okay. Um. I'm gonna just look for her last name, which is McCann. Um. L. There she go. Number four is obviously Mariah. So we're gonna teleport Mariah. And then number five is Dynasty. Teleport Dynasty. And then number six, well, who is number six? Six is Brianna Reed. So let's teleport Brianna Reed. Number seven is Aminata. Let's teleport her. And let's pretend they're like going to their like tables. Let's teleport number eight, which is Kasia. Number nine is Malaysia. And then number 10 is Journey Small. All right, so everybody's by their respective tables. She still didn't change her freaking outfit. Oh, I forgot. I didn't do the NC Command Center, I just did the change outfit. All right, there we go. Uh, they don't waste no time to, leave, to start walking off. All right, well, I guess the event is over, y'all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close out a game and have them get ready to go on their cabin trip. I'll show pictures of them by their tables and by, with their families off screen on the side look at how many people are leaving out y'all like please comment and say sierra never invite more than 20 people to events like literally like look how many people but this is so realistic though like there'd be a lot of people at probates and at events and school events and stuff like that so it makes it look realistic that so many people are leaving and it's six in the morning but anyways i'm gonna close out of game where did where's mariah at Oh, Mariah's changing her tampon. Okay. Mariah finally changed her tampon. This is what I gotta do, y'all. Y'all notice how I had it on pause, and then everybody finally, like, went active. It's like I gotta pause my game for people to, like, start moving and start being active. Because y'all know sometimes they'll just stand there, they'll just sit there, or they'll just be, like, late reaction to certain actions I'm having them do. Which, like, irritates me because I'm like, come on, like, time is passing. But, unfortunately, I just realized... 
Mariah lost her celebrity level. I didn't know she was even a celebrity at all, but um, sis is chilling. She just changed her tampon. So everybody has left out except, I guess, the people I'm controlling because obviously they'll still be standing there. But uh, let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the only two people that I'm not controlling that are a part of the line is on Janelle and I think, I'm trying to think who else I don't have control over. I have control over Journey, right? Oh no, I switched to Anjanelle, so I got control of Anjanelle. They all have line jackets that have their like line jacket names on the back. Uh, But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and close out a game and then the next scene should probably either be like the pictures that I was trying to tell y'all about and after that, it'll be their cabin trip. All right, hey y'all, we're here at the Airbnb cabin. This cabin was built by myself. It is up for download. I'm not sure at the moment whether it's free to the public yet or not. I think it is at this point, or it might be April 4th. But um, all the girls are here, so they're gonna be spending the rest of the weekend here, bonding and getting to know each other. So today is Saturday. It's 11.03 p.m. I'm thinking I'm going to have them maybe make dinner, watch a movie. I'm going to show y'all around briefly because I don't think I did a tour video of this build. But this is the front of the build. It's like supposed to be in the cabin or like in the woods. Um, there's a garage and then you walk in. So let's, uh, oh my gosh, I hate when I do that. Um navigation is not my thing okay y'all should know this by now all right so this is the front door of course <laughs> um as soon as you walk in it's like some stairs the lights are off because i have it on auto lights and the lights won't turn on until they come in but you can still see um right here is like a coat let me go down more it's a coat rack thing and in here oh my gosh it's going so slow is the garage dark in here but there's just little like garage stuff so it's like a basketball court like workout equipment stuff to fix up anything that you know breaks I don't know I just threw a couple things that might go in a garage in here um, and then I think I put a little treadmill over here and then it's a random bike so this house is sort of like when i built it i envisioned it to be like an airbnb so it's a house that somebody owns and they rent it out to people to you know have vacations and stuff so that is what i was thinking when i built it so we're gonna go ahead and just head over to the right here's the kitchen and living room and dining room all in one area so we got the kitchen it's really spacious really nice it's got like wood because, you know, I thought cabin woods, I'm going to make the kitchen like a light wood. And then there's a stove, cabinets, storage. There's stuff in the cabinets, um, sink, 
just pretty basic basic kitchen stuff uh, I probably should have turned the lights on before I did this but a little cute little bar area is so eclectic if you seen the pictures or if you look it's very eclectic meaning like it's not necessarily like matching like you know how you have a theme a color scheme it has a color scheme in a way but not really so it's like funky eclectic fun so that's what I wanted the decoration or the way the decor is there's a fireplace a TV um, plenty of couch space so um, probably not a whole lot of couch space but I think only two sims can sit so about six sims can sit in here or eight I have some little um cushion seats we have some little cute little decor on the coffee table so it's always the little things to me or for me there's a bunch of stuff on the tables it just makes it realistic I don't know you know over here it's really dark but it's like the little um area where they keep their DVDs movies music and there's like a little cabinet space Here's some artwork that I recolored. The artist I might put on the screen, he goes by Rivaldo or something like that, Rivi the Creative, but I came across his artwork on Twitter and I was like, oh my gosh, I really would love that in my game. So I just recolored a artwork or porch, oh my gosh, my brain is fried. I just recolored some artwork that I found and put his artwork on there. There we go. All right, so we got some clutter up here and I'll, this is like, one of my favorite parts of this. I put like cute little things on top of the fireplace to make it realistic. So we just got some plants and just little um, knickknacks and trinkets or whatever you want to call it. Like just little cute little decor stuff. Um, you already seen the kitchen. Um, over here, I just wanted it to be more area for them to sit. Ugh, oh my gosh. More seating area for them when they came here. So we have another couch to seat. A little area where they can drink some beer so you know they do the little beer keg stand stuff we got I want it to be elegant too so I have a piano then a dining area there is ten of them on the line but right now you're seeing eight seats so we're gonna figure that out but you know eight seats the dining area we got a little another little um keyboard whatever it's called the little piano keyboard thing then more artwork um then i put a little um ping pong table i might as well show y'all outside outside i wanted to keep up with the eclectic thing so we got like this orange grunge looking like not wood but like brick wall so it's got this like worn out sort of looking orange brick wall we got some funky looking summer looking seats music a um mini fridge a grill um and then i don't know i just put that there because i thought it fit the theme but yeah i wanted to keep up with the eclectic funky look um then we have a really nice office over here we got some artwork over here so i wanted this to sort of look like art gallery i wanted to give art gallery so that is what this wall is for then we have a office and it has plenty of storage books computer right here I did not know what I wanted to do with this room over here but I decided to make it like a little study room or like a library not a library but like a study chill read a book type room so I put like private room so it's an area where you want to get away you just want to read you want to chill not, no TV no music it's just books in a like a seating area and i forgot to show but as soon as you walk in there's like a bathroom like i'm about to show y'all real quick to the right so as you walk through the front door to your right it'll be a bathroom and it's just real basic it's just another area for them to shower you know brush their teeth get ready use the bathroom so that's the downstairs bathroom i think that sums up the down floor i showed y'all outside i showed y'all the dining the kitchen the living room the office and then the chill room so i'm gonna go ahead and go upstairs to the second floor so as soon as you go up the stairs which i f i found this to be really neat i try to do like a over you can see over the stairwell type of thing so i deleted the flooring so that you could see over to the front door a nice cute little grass wall because i wanted to keep up with that like 
you know, jungle, eclectic theme. The light is off, but there's more artwork by Rivaldo. It says, I woke up like this. Just little hallway art, then more artwork by Rivaldo. I just decided to put a mirror behind it. This is just something that I just decided to do last minute near the end of building everything. I was like, let me add some stuff in the middle because it was just like bare in the middle of here. So I just wanted to add a few things. Let's start off with this room. This room is the movie theater room, which ironically, I didn't know that was this room, but you know, I wanted to it to be like a movie theater. So we got a movie theater room, very cool. Got the blue lights and plenty of seating for big families or whoever decides to vacation here or it can freaking be like a house that your sims own and they just happen to have a movie theater they got money okay and i think there's a bathroom right here so there's a bathroom kind of the same as the one at the bottom floor basic shower toilet um yeah so there's a bathroom connected to there um right here i don't remember what this is this oh this is like a little uh closet where you put like your towels and your tissue and stuff little storage closet right here should be a room i think yep so this is a room i wanted every room to be a different theme but still kind of fit with the eclectic vibe i was getting or trying to give off with this build so we have this like boho like orange browns very jungly like thing two beds but really four sims can sleep in here but it's two beds it's got a little um, little hammock situation even though it doesn't look like it's connected let's pretend it's connected to the wall the sims can sleep here they can sit here it's very comfortable very chill and yeah so i wanted to kind of make it look like airbnb hotel vibe so we got a little tv area right here we got a little um desk chair that fits with the boho theme the laptop is not functional because when i tell y'all sims will get on every computer i have to get rid of all the computers because i want this cabin trip to be them getting to know each other and not getting on the computers because y'all know them sims love getting on them laptops and them computers even if you lock them i don't know how they get on them when you lock them but since it's a cabin trip you can't really lock them y'all get what i'm saying but anyways i showed y'all this bathroom already it's connected to the movie theater across from it all right so we already seen that Let's go ahead and head over here. There's nothing right there. Right here is one of the biggest rooms. I really wanted this to be girly, fashionista. Um, I don't know. I decided this theme to be like fashionista, pink, white, gold. So it's a really big room and it's connected to one of the biggest bathrooms. So right here is the master bedroom so if you decide you want your sims family to move here to have this as their house instead of a vacation house rental whatever this is the master bedroom you can switch it up and add some stuff but yeah it's a huge um i don't really know what kind of bed this is called but i really love it um I don't remember the creator's name, but if I do remember, I'll put the at or their their name on the screen. But yeah, so this is the um what is what did I just say? This is the master bedroom, and then this is the master bathroom, and it has two sinks. I love this bathroom. I just love how everything came about with this, and it's connected to a walk-in closet. Like, come on now. And it's all black. And I put just like some ties here. Just to, you know, and a little jewelry in the middle. Just to give it like a live-in feel. But yeah, there's uh, two sinks. Love it. Bathroom. Little walk-in shower with the sliding doors. Um, So yeah, so master bedroom, master bathroom. But of course, I think two sims can sleep in this little bed thing. And then two sims can sleep in the bed. Then even... um sims can sleep on this couch in here so you can have like large vacation trips with a bunch of sims and they can all there's just plenty of area for them to you know sleep and chill so right here is the laundry room very basic it's just where your sims can wash their clothes um i just forgot where i went uh we already seen that uh where am i at okay hold on let's back up so i showed y'all that laundry room all right so we're over here this is the 
last room. All right, so this is the last room. I wanted this to give like Florida vacation, very Airbnb. So we got this like floral type of vibe. Um, two beds, four Sims total can sleep in here. And then we got a TV, just some artwork. Just, it's a real basic room, but I wanted to keep it very simple and very, I don't know, just still sticking with that theme. So, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, Here's a little area where your Sims can hop on the computer, but of course I replaced all the computers with deco computers because my Sims just kept going to the computers. They weren't doing anything I wanted them to do. They just kept having the urge to get on the computer. And it was really irritating, so I just deleted them all and replaced them. This one has a bathroom, and it doesn't have a shower. It has a little tub and a little sink and a closet. So your Sims can, you know, hang up their clothes and stuff. So yeah, so this has a connected bathroom and walk-in closet. So that will sum up the cabin that the girls will be staying at for the next two or three days. Not sure how long I want them to stay here. But I'm going to go ahead and start the gameplay of this little cabin trip. Um, oh, I don't think I really showed the backyard, but I'm going to briefly just show y'all what's in the backyard. There's a swimming pool. I put some, some tents back here. We got a jacuzzi where they can skinny dip, get in and stuff. Um, we got a little fireplace. You can light it, hang out around there. Then we got a little, I don't know what it's called, but they can play with it and it's really cool. So there, there's plenty of things for them to do here in this cabin. I really want them to get to know each other because I think most of them have pretty decent meters within each other. Um, so they're all in a household together. Mariah, of course, is our main character. Her meters were pe with people are pretty high. Um, I think Mariah has a trait where when she meets people, she instantly, like, they just love her. And she just, you know, the, the meter with anybody she meets goes high automatically. I'm not sure which one it is. I think she's very charismatic. The charisma skill, her charisma level is really high. So when she meets people, it's like an instant click. Like, they love her. So she has a really high meter with pretty much everybody. Um, everybody else, not sure. There may be some people with really low meters or some people that don't even really know each other. But if y'all see my old episodes, a lot of them got to know each other at the group meetings and the, you know, different meetings and they chatted up with each other. So, and, and, and ugh, oh my gosh, I'm talking too much. Last thing I'm, I'm going to say, um, since they're in a household together and, they, and I'm, and I added all of them to a household, <laughs> they instantly have a meter with each other because I added them in a household together. So their meters are all already going to be, you know, medium. Yeah. Y'all know what I'm saying. Anyways, um, there's eight of them that I'm controlling, but there's 10 of them in, in the line. So I added, I think Kennedy who's a not part of the household, and Journey. So I added them in a group. So there's five and five. So I did the first five in the line and the last five in the line in the group. So we're going to go ahead and just head in. I mean, come on now. Let's just go ahead and maybe, you know, sit together or just head in. So we're going to go in together. Y'all low-key might cut out most of the stuff I just said. But some people love when I talk. So we're just going to go with, with that. With, ugh, oh my gosh. Okay. We're gonna go with whatever. But the light just turned on. I don't know why. Oh, wait. I was about to say, why is, why aren't all of them walking in? But I forgot I had them in two separate groups. And I clicked for Keisha's group to walk in together. So Mariah was about to put on some perfume. I'm here for it, sis. Sis loves she loves smelling good. We're gonna go ahead and have her group go in together. So yeah, um, I'm not sure what Dynasty is doing, but girl, you need to come in. Like, oh, why is everybody walking upstairs? Um, <laughs> I don't think I don't think I've, I I don't think I recall having them do that. Um, you know, the Sims just do whatever they want. Maybe they're just won't roaming around picking who's sleeping where. But yeah, so this cabin trip should be very fun. Kennedy looks like she's going into the floral room. Thank God I have deco computers because she probably would have gotten on the computer. Um, Aminata, um, she's supposed to be, um, West African, love that. Um, she's about to go check out the deep fryer. Oh, I didn't, I forgot that I had them, I forgot I put a deep fryer there, but they can just fry french fries. I don't really have anything else. I mean, I guess they have to have a high cooking level to cook anything else 
or they have to have bought like ingredients. I don't know. But anyways, um, Aminata, Devin, she's about to go with her group. Um, Kasia is chilling. She just walked to the area. Um, Dynasty is just now walking in. Mariah. Okay, so they're finally walking in one area together. Brianna looks like she's about to light the fireplace outside. I love that. Go ahead and do you, sis. Then we have Malaysia who's staring at the curtain. She's just admiring the place, you know? She's staring at the curtain. And Aunt Janelle is upstairs. She was about to... Oh, I guess I left one computer. Y'all forgot I left one computer available for them. I only did that because I wanted it to at least be one computer where they can, you know, do whatever they wanted on there. And she was about to hop on it, but no. I want all the groups to go in one area. All right, so... It is 11.30. I think I'm going to have maybe Mariah cook something. Because I know for certain she has a good or a high enough cooking level. So I'm going to click Mariah. And I'm going to have her. Or maybe they can sit to watch TV together. Um, I'm going to choose Cage's group to watch TV together. Just so everybody can be in one area. Then I'm going to have Mariah cook. Um, let's see if we can do custom food. Cook custom meal. What's gonna pop up for that? Chickpea meatloaf. Fried plantains. Alright, so that that is not really a wide variety of options. So I'm going to just, I guess, cook a grand meal. Um, no, I don't really like those options because they give me holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas. I kind of just want to do something very basic. So I'm going to have her serve dinner. And we're going to do... Um, I guess Mariah doesn't have that much of a high cooking skill. Let me check real quick. Her cooking level is at a 2. Mariah, since when? Since when was your cooking skill level a 2? Like, what happened? I'm going to have her go ahead and just cook. Because I know there's going to be a decent amount of things to pop up. Or maybe not. There's pizza... Alright y'all, I'm just gonna do serve dinner. I'm gonna serve dinner and I'm gonna have her make some um, barbecue chicken sliders. So Mariah's gonna make barbecue chicken sliders for her sorority sisters. Love that for her. She can finally say she has sorority sisters. So Mariah's gonna make some barbecue chicken sliders. I'm gonna have Kasia watch TV. She's talking to um, Journey. Um, maybe a few of them can like play with this karaoke machine so we can sing a duet maybe Brianna can sing a country duet with Malaysia because that is actually her roommate and they're really close all right so we have some of them I think watching TV Mariah oh they decided they wanted wanted to watch that saw Raven all right, so Mariah's cooking skill levels at a three. I'm not gonna cheat it. I am very tempted to cheat Mariah's cooking skill level and make it at least a seven, but we're gonna go with it. We're gonna keep it realistic. So Mariah can not really cook that well, <laughs> but hopefully it comes out pretty decently. If it does not, then I'm just gonna right click and make it, you know, outstanding. Cause first of all, we're not about to poison our sorority sisters. That's what we're not gonna do. Aminata is chatting with Keisha. Looks like she's going to go train on the boxing. Um, oh, not a thunderstorming outside. Uh, perfect. We love that. Um, so we're going to be thugging it inside. Oh, okay. Okay, so I don't think I showed y'all all their line jackets. Uh, but they all have line jackets that I recolored myself. But Brianna and Malaysia are doing a country duet together on the karaoke machine. Looks like Kasia is watching TV or she's talking to somebody. Looks like she's talking to Journey. Mariah is making the barbecue chicken sliders, but looks like people are trying to, like, overcrowd her. Like, why are y'all all over here? Um, I know y'all are Mariah, but give her some space. Um, looks like Kennedy and Dynasty are over here chatting with her, maybe. Um, I'm gonna need her to resume them because this... It's almost, well, it's midnight and you're wasting time. It looks like some girls are going upstairs, but all right, we're just gonna, I think I might have Aminata and Anjanelle. Maybe they can um do 
beer ping pong. So maybe Anjana. Oh, can she do two people? Play beer ping pong against Anjana. Yeah, just do that. Oh, okay. They don't sound bad, but they don't sound very good. It is thunderstorming, y'all. Mariah's making the barbecue chicken sliders. Looks like she's, you know, sauteing the peppers. Um, I want this weekend to be fun for them, so I think I'm gonna... I have matching pajamas for them, so when they finally, like, eat dinner, I'm gonna have them change into their pajamas and maybe do, a, like, a late movie night. Mar oh, Mariah might be cramping. I forgot Mariah was on her freaking period. And I don't think she has any tampons. Like, girl, how do you come to a cabin trip without tampons? All right, so they're letting me know that Aminata will start her period soon. Perfect. We love that, don't we? We love that. Um, Mariah's breath stank. She's dripping blood from her period. Yikes. <laughs> uh, she's having an awful time. Awful time. She's embarrassed because the breath stank. Um, not her having poor oral hygiene. Well, after she gets done, well, actually. Yeah, after she gets done, I'm gonna have her go ahead and brush her teeth, uh, take a thoughtful shower, change into her pajamas, and they can eat dinner and stuff. Um, and she needs to ask one of her sorority sisters for a tampon, which y'all know I was struggling for her to ask for somebody. Oh my gosh, what am I talking about? I was struggling for her to ask one of her close friends for a tampon, and it took a while. She finally asked, I think, Devin, and she... And she gave her some tampons, but then it cleared out of her inventory. Like, look, there's nothing in her inventory. It's gone. So I'm going to see if she can ask Dynasty for a tampon. I literally need to work on, like, talking more, like, slow. Because I feel like I talk too fast. And then that's when my words stumble. Because I'm thinking way faster than I'm able to, you know, say it all. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead and attempt to ask dynasty for a tampon because mariah is definitely dripping blood down her leg like that is terrible um and we have no tampons but you know what i might go in build mode and buy some because yikes um usually it's under friendly and you can ask for a tampon or pad usually you need to have a pretty high meter with the sim for it to work and she has a decent meter with dynasty so i'm not too sure why it's not showing up i might have overlooked it there's talk about cooking, temperature, fertility. Don't really see anything about the tampon. All right, I'm gonna go into build mode really quick and buy a box of pads and tampons. Since there's 10 of them in this house, I think I need to buy a decent amount before I go back in live mode because Aminata's about to start her period. Not sure when she will, but, you know, it's just in case. All right, y'all. So, Mariah is cramping right now. So, I went in build mode and got her some wicked chill pills. Somebody told me on Twitter that this helps with cramps. And I literally never knew that. I thought it was just like a deco sort of situation. Never really thought about that or even looked into it. But I'm definitely going to have her take a chill pill because it says it helps with Oh, she took it automatically. I thought it was going to be an action where she, like, took the pill or whatever. And I put some pads and tampons in her inventory. So after she she's chatting with Dynasty, she loves Dynasty. Her and Dynasty have such a cute little relationship. She's finishing up these barbecue chicken sliders. She's going to go brush her teeth because her breath stank. And she needs to take a shower. After that, she might as well go ahead and put a tampon or a pad on. So let's go ahead and have her... Uh, use a tampon i might have them uh, yeah i'm gonna have each of them probably shower and put on their pajamas and maybe go upstairs into the little movie room and watch a movie together i think that'll be a really cute idea i wanted them to go into the jacuzzi but it's freaking thunderstorming so we might have to wait until tomorrow or something but yeah but hopefully mariah feels better after this um so on the back of her shirt it says for destined for greatness and then her uh line sister Dynasty, her name, her line name is The Dynasty because, you know, that's her name. And she's number five, so. It's so cute how they're so close and they're, like, connected in, li in the line. Y'all know what I mean. Uh, ooh, they sound terrible. Alright, so they're really close, too. We have... Malaysia, number nine, Angelic Jewel, and then Dime Piece, number six, which is Brianna. Looks like they're done. 
Um, the tallest is the tail. Oh, well, that's not the tail. Her name is Kasia. Y'all know her from the dorm. She's li she stays in the same dorm as Mariah. Her name is Destin or not Destin. Distinguished Divinity number eight. Uh, Aminata is underestimated, and then on Janelle is Double Take number two. Um, I'm trying to figure out where the heck um everybody else is at. Looks like everybody else. Well, I guess I can tell if anybody's upstairs because the light is on. And yep, Devin's upstairs on the computer that I told myself to delete. She's prominent distinction number three. She's also, Mariah's also really close to her. But Mariah's clothes is smelling bad and she looks sad. Oh, poor baby. Alright. Mariah, hurry up and finish these barbecue chicken sliders so you can go ahead and get yourself together. I'm going to have her stop talking to Dynasty because I think she might be distracting her. It's almost 1 in the morning. Ooh, oh, she's lathering that barbecue sauce on there and patting it down. Okay, I don't think I've ever seen that. Now, Mariah, girl. All right. I'm about to, like, cancel out the action of her clothes stinking and maybe her dehydrated because she's, like, not really f doing the action. She keeps stopping, you know every couple seconds and it's gonna irritate me so she's finishing finishing up these barbecue chicken sliders uh dynasty maybe can go do something dynasty is feeling flirty y'all maybe she over here flirting with mariah mariah looks like she's done with the sandwiches i'm gonna have uh maybe dynasty make some drinks for the group or something make custom drink the only thing popped up was the cranberry orange. Make drink for everyone. Let's make everyone some wine, okay? Let's make some Von Haunt Estate Merlot. Not sure if I pronounced that right, but who cares? All right, Mariah, uh, let's check the quality. It's excellent. Oh, she surprised me. All right, so I low-key want her to not eat that because she needs to go handle herself. So I'm going to cancel the action of Mariah. Grabbing the plate because I want them all to eat together. Go ahead and brush your teeth, shower, and use a tampon. Um, hopefully she goes over and does it because I don't got time to play with her. All right, so um, Dynasty is making some wine for everybody, so we're gonna drink wine, eat some barbecue chicken sliders, and chill out in this rainy Sunday. Well, you know. It's one in the morning, so technically it's Sunday now. Looks like Kennedy's grabbing her some wine. I'm not too sure what these two are doing, but let's check the quality of these wines. Oh, not on being excellent. Let me find out. All right, so Mariah is um, brushing her teeth, right? Mariah's brushing her teeth. She's going to shower. Well, it looks like she's about to grab her some wine. Girl, you're going to do that after you shower and put on, put on a tampon. Dynasty's making the drinks. Let's check everybody else because I want everybody to go and get them a drink. Uh, Aminata, Aminata and Anjanelle are still playing beer ping pong. I'm going to let them do that. Devin is watching the Parkers and she's about to grab her some one. Kasia. Okay, these are their matching pajamas. They got this cute little red little pajama outfit. She looks like she's about to go sleep like sis. No. Go downstairs and grab you some wine and join the festivities, Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and have her grab a random cup. I'm gonna have her go drink. Sit. Uh, sit. Sit. I'm um, just checking everybody else. Not Brianna sleep. Girl! Not Brianna in cage. You're trying to sleep. Alright, let me bring up her energy level and have her um go here. Alright. We all know Malaysia was down here doing karaoke. She needs to grab her a cup. We're going to get a little, you know, lit. I'm going to cancel the action of Anjanelle and Aminata playing beer ping pong. All right. Let's check on Mariah, the main character. So she's taking a shower. Oh, gosh. There's... I'm about to just destroy it. I don't know why Mariah... Oh, Mariah's crying. She's terrified from the thunderstorms. She's scared of the thunderstorms. She took a chill pill. She put on a random outfit. That's not what I want you to wear, sis. Um, right now, she's just terrified of the thunderstorms. She has a minty fresh breath interaction. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm 
I want to delete the whole idea of her breath stinking because it obviously does not stink anymore. Um, she is wearing a tampon, I think. It says, no more mood swings. Mariah's menstrual mood swings have been magically suppressed thanks to the substances she took. So she took like some little chill pills. Um, I thought she put on a tampon. Like, girl, she's about to, oh, she's about to go do it. Let me mind my business, okay? Maybe after she puts on this tampon, I'm about to cancel her being scared of the thunderstorms. Like, girl, come on now. And to get rid of stuff, if you have, I think, UI cheat, you just right-click and it gets rid of whatever interaction. Because sometimes my sims will be sad and I'm trying to, like, take their picture. And it'll, like, show their teary eyes or if they're flirty, their face will be all red and flustered. So I'll, like, right-click and get rid of it so the, my pictures can look right. But we're going to go ahead. Let me see if I can click the dresser and have her change her outfit. Oh, did not mean to click that. All right, now. I'm going to have her change her outfit. So I'm going to click on her and have her change her outfit to her pajamas. So I don't remember what order the pajamas was. And I don't think it's the first one. I really don't think it's the first one. Oh, it was. Okay. We're going to right click and destroy. We're going to shift click destroy the clothes she just put on the floor. All right, so Mariah just showered. She put a tampon on. She took a chill pill because she was cramping really bad. She looks super cute. I told you that everybody has the exact same outfit. So she's feeling confident now. She can grab her a bottle. Not a bottle, a cup of, a glass of wine. Child, y'all know what I'm trying to say. I'm going to have her grab a glass of wine. And enjoy her sorority sisters. They're mingling. Love that. Watching TV. Malaysia's up watching TV. Looks like Scooby-Doo. It is. Um, Dynasty and Anjanelle look like they're talking, um, Brianna's chilling, um, Kennedy's doing push-ups, Mariah just grabbed her glass of wine, um, there's only one glass of wine left, I don't think everybody grabbed a glass, but it's all good, it's all good. Alright, it says, Kasia's new skill in fitness allows her to perform various workouts, where is she at? Because why is she, she's in the garage boxing, <laughs> we love that for her. She really wants to... Earn a thousand dollars and go for a jog. Okay, so she seems to be very active. I'm gonna have her change her outfit to her pajamas because we're in our pajamas now, sis. We're not boxing. So I'm gonna click change outfit and I'm going to choose her sleep. Let's cancel the boxing. Um, it's not letting me. What the heck? Okay. All right, so Kasia just put on her matching pajamas, which you already see. I'm going to have her grab a glass of wine. And then I'm going to have people start, well, looks like Aminata is upstairs. What is she doing? Twerking? And she's about to go keg stand with, well, I should have let her do it. I'm going to have her um, take a shower or so. Maybe she, I don't know who's going to be sleeping in what bed, but. Let's take a steamy shower, brush our teeth, and put on our pajamas. Devin, her hygiene should be cool, but I'm going to have her... Maybe she can keg stand with... We'll tap the beer keg. I'm going to actually have Mariah call this, this to meal. So everybody can eat. Not everybody's in their pajamas. Why is she sitting through the nightlight? The little lamp. Alright, so she just called the mill. They didn't waste no time hopping up. Y'all see how quick they hopped up? Alright. I really want them to sit at the table, but I know they're gonna just sit all over the place. I don't know how many she made. It said it's four left. Dynasty's grabbing her son. Mariah can eat this one. Mariah's cleaning up. We love that for her. Alright, so I don't think it's going to be enough for everybody, but... We're eating our barbecue chicken sliders at 3 in the morning. Um, the rain did not... Well, the thunder settled down. Why are y'all going outside? Like, y'all know it's thunderstorming. 
I'm gonna change Kennedy's outfit real quick. Hopefully my game does not glitch because lately I've been clicking on my Sims, going to MC Command Center, and my game will freeze. Okay, it didn't. All right, let's go ahead and click sleep. All right. So Kennedy and Kasia decided they wanted to sit outside while it was raining. Um, Aminata was upstairs. Looks like she brushed her teeth and took a shower, maybe? Did she take a shower? Okay, she took her steamy shower. I'm gonna have her um, change her outfit. Um, can I click on the dresser? Not, I meant like this. All right, no, I guess not. So I'm gonna see if I can have her change her outfit. Um, I guess you can. I really just didn't want to click on her. I'm gonna have her um check herself out and then change her outfit to her pajamas. So I'm gonna click on Aminata. I'm gonna go to where is change outfit? Change outfit to her sleep. All right. So Aminata is about to brush her teeth. She just got out the shower. She's gonna grab her barbecue chicken slider if she makes it in time, and then she's going to check herself out and put on her pajamas. Devin got her some barbecue chicken slider. After this, we're gonna have a very late night little movie night because we did get here late. We got here at 11. The probate like went way past the time I wanted it to. And then I'm gonna put Devin's sleep outfit on. All right. So I think I got most of their outfits on. I still got a few people I gotta do but um looks like Aunt Janelle did not get a plate did she not Malaysia Devin and Journey did so I'm gonna go ahead and have Aunt Janelle she's talking to Devin or she wanted to do a kick stand with her eat a barbecue chicken slider Dynasty looks so exhausted we're gonna cheat that up looks like she's about to go practice like they just do whatever they just do all kind of stuff what is Mariah doing? I thought I had Mariah eat. Did she eat already? What is Mariah doing? Mariah's about to use a pad. Oh, she did that on her own. Her period must be heavy because we just put a tampon in our thoughts, sis. What's going on? All right, so Mariah's feeling confident, bright smile, minty fresh. Tantalizing tannins. The perfectly bitter balance lingers long after the nectar is gone. So the wine was hitting. And then she just took a shower. So, I don't know. Devin's red. She's angry. Um, tap from successfully tapping a beer keg and bored. Okay, she's bored. Um, Everybody looks like they got some food. Uh, I think Aminata ate. I'm not sure. Let's check. Her level. Oh, she's about to be called the meal since the food is gone. But is it? there is food left over. So, I think I'm going to have Aminata sit and eat right here. Cause it said be called the meal like sis she called that a while ago um, Mariah's putting on a pad sis is going through it but at least she took a chill pill and it helped with her cramps uh Devin is going outside while it's raining it looks like it's getting better um dynasty needs to put on her pajamas so I'm gonna have I'm gonna click on Dynasty and I'm gonna do change outfit to her pajamas. So PJs, bam. Uh Malaysia does not have her pajamas. Oh, did she just peel herself? Are you serious, sis? Alright, well, you might as well go ahead and shower in the downstairs bathroom and put on your pajamas. So I'm gonna go ahead and have Malaysia just peed on herself. I'm gonna have her take a steamy shower, brush her teeth, wash her hands, and then put on her pajamas so i'm gonna click on her and uh, no not mc command center because i want her to change her outfit after she gets out the shower and stuff so i'm going to do change outfit sleep bam all right malaysia's gonna go handle herself the girls are all over the place um i swear i had aminata do a bunch of stuff she looks like she okay she's about to check herself out then change your outfit and then sit down and eat her barbecue chicken slider. All right. Let's just pretend the time is not going as fast as it looks like it's going. I'm going to destroy this cup of wine because it's going to start smelling in a few hours. And destroy this plate of 
dishes that Mariah put there. All right, so let's, Mariah is taking a nap on the little seat cushion outside while it's raining. Oh, well, there's no rain getting on them because I have it a little over the head situation. All right, Mariah's tired, but I'm gonna cheat it up and I'm gonna have her sit and talk to Brianna. So I'm gonna just have her ask about her, you know, tell her a story, tell her a story. So the Saturday night consisted, consisted of us, Mariah cooking barbecue chicken sliders. Oh no. She said she should really get going. Y'all know you can only have eight people in a, a household. So the two girls that are a part of the line, because there's 10 of them, one of them is trying to leave. And I'm going to lock the door for everyone but Mariah. Lock door for everyone but Mariah. Okay, so all three of them are outside. Let's right click and destroy these clothes. We don't got a t we don't got time to do everybody's laundry. I don't know why y'all want to be outside in the rain eating. Um, where is um, what's her name? Um, uh, who is sleeping? Keisha's in the bed sleeping. Her bladder's low. All right, I'm cheating all of it up. Um, I'm trying to look for Journey. I'm gonna have them all go upstairs into the movie room soon because. They are all over the place. Um, Malaysia's taking a shower because she peed on herself. I don't know where um, Journey went, but oh, well. oh, there she is. Who's beefing? Occasion and Journey are beefing. Y'all see that red meter? Oh, wow. Uh, that is not good at all. Like, we're not about to beef with our sorority sisters. Um, hook up with okay apparently we can't talk to her i'm about to reset her because i think she's trying to leave she's outside kasia is a cheerful sim cheerful sims tend to be happy more often okay um they're outside playing with these whatever it's called uh watch game i don't know y'all want to be outside in the rain y'all go ahead Mariah, Mariah's chilling. I'm gonna have her. Mariah lost her celebrity level. Great. We're just trying to chill with our sorority sisters. We don't really want to be posting on social media all the time. Mariah spent too much time out of the public eye. She's no longer a celebrity. Never knew she really was one. I knew she was popular and stuff. While she's lost access to any fame perks, she's also rid herself of any behavioral quirks. It's time to get back to living a nice normal life. Oh, we're okay with that. All right, it says mirror, mirror on the wall. Aminata finds herself very attractive. Cool. All right. Then she's about to go tell Brianna an unbelievable story. Um, They are all over the place. Half the girls are outside playing with that little hook thing. Why is there food on the floor? Why are y'all like this? Why? I thought I downloaded or put a dishwasher. Not downloaded, but put one. It's one literally right there. Look, she knows how to use the dishwasher. I mean, come on now. We have some people with some sense, okay? Um. All right, so now that Aminata has her pajamas on, there's a few that don't. Brianna's good, Mariah's good. Let's go upstairs. I'm gonna have them all go into the movie theater room. Look, look at this, just ridiculous. Like, Brianna's the only one that has sense to put her food, I didn't mean to reset, I meant to destroy it. Put her food, all right, so all four of them, there's four right here, okay, Aunt Janelle needs to put her pajamas on. All right, what is Aunt Janelle about to do? She's about to go talk to, or do kick. she just wants to do the kicks then with Devin so bad, all right. Um. Let's change her outfit. All right, pajamas. She got the little two buns. All right. Look at this. And I got to pick up the slack for y'all. So five of them are outside. All right, looks like um Kennedy and Journey are trying to leave. Five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight of them with their pajamas on. Journey and... 
Journey and Kennedy are not a part of the family because I can only have eight in the household. So I'm going to just have a cages group go here together. Oh, did the group just delete? I guess the group deleted. All right, let's form a group. And I'm going to form a group with her end of the so uh, Okay. Dynasty, Brianna, Malaysia, Devin, Aminata, Mariah, Anjanelle. Let's all just go upstairs. I don't know if I'm going to have Journey and Kennedy come back. I don't got time for all that. Like, <laughs> they're all going upstairs. Uh, Malaysia is... What was she about to do? Ooh, her clothes smell so bad. Let's destroy... She's embarrassed. All right, so I forgot about Malaysia. Look at her. Look at her neck. Why does her neck look like that? <laughs> Y'all see that? All right, I'm gonna have her change her outfits, her pajamas. All right. Um, I keep going over it. Change outfits is what I'm trying to do, and I keep skipping over it. All right, put your pajamas on. All right, so eight of them are headed upstairs. To the movie room. I don't know what Anjanelle's doing. She needs to go upstairs. Why are they all going back down? Like what? Oh my gosh. Listen, I'm about to just teleport all of them upstairs. So Anjanelle, teleport. Malaysia, teleport. Bree, Brianna. Brianna's already upstairs. So is Kasia. Mariah, teleport. Dynasty, teleport. Cage is already up here. Let's teleport Devin and let's teleport. Um, she's about to do the keg stand. They just keep trying to do this keg stand, but then they never end up doing it. All right, so let's watch. Let's just wait till they all teleport upstairs. One, two, three, four. So that's four out of the eight upstairs. Um, let's sit together. All right, so I'm having them all sit together and watch movies. Or not watch TV together. I want them to watch a movie. So let's watch a movie. Let's watch a random movie. Let's watch Total Spies with Anjanelle, Bree, Malaysia, Mariah, Kasia, Devin, Dynasty. And let's turn, turn off this room. Turn off this room so we can get those vibes. All right, I love the movie theater room. Let's hope they all sit because they're gonna piss me off if they don't. Um, all right, so I see most of them sitting. All right, I might have to individually have them sit in certain seats. So let's sit Mariah here. Devin is not sitting. Let's have her sit right here. Aunt Janelle is not sitting. Y'all, I'll just be trying to manage my sins to the best way I can. They just never act right or do what I tell them to. All right. I think this sums it up. I think Dynasty is the last one that's not sitting. Please sit down, okay? All right, so we're watching a movie. My sins are not sitting down. But they're enjoying themselves, so... Oh well, everybody's levels look good. Aminata is feeling confident. Devin is feeling confident. Okay, they're finally sitting down. The only ones not sitting down are on Janelle, Dynasty, and Devin. Um, Flirty. Mariah is feeling confident. Don't y'all just love their matching pajamas? I literally forgot to put a freaking jacket on her. Wow. Anyways, uh, let's pretend she was, you know, hot or something. I don't know. They're really enjoying the movie. Mariah's looking, you know, too cute in her little outfit. She's on her phone. She's bored. She's like, oh my gosh. 
All right, y'all, six in the morning. I'm about to have Mariah call. Okay, so we have a red, red on our celebrity level. Um, I'm about to have Mariah have call Kennedy back. Kennedy and Journey. Where is Journey at? I uh, really wish it was in alphabetical order because I don't see her. I know Mariah has a pretty decent meter with Journey. I wanted to call them the other two that I'm not controlling back because they left. Um, she's beefing with Alana. Definitely because um, Brendan had been messing with her. And they all live in the same dorm. So here she is. Invite Journey and Kennedy back to the cabins because they left. Why aren't they sitting down? Like... I guess I have to cancel the action for them to sit down. Alright, Dynasty. Alright, and then I'm gonna have her watch current movie. And then Devin is sitting. Devin. Where is Devin at? Devin is right here. I'm gonna have her sit down. Brianna's not sitting down. She just got up on her own. She needs to sit back down. And then Dynasty. I'm gonna have her sit. Oh my gosh. Okay, she got back up. Is that the end of the movie? Alright, looks like Brianna's getting tired. Oh my gosh. Uh, Malaysia's very tired. She's humiliated because she peed on herself. Let's boost up her energy level. Because it's... Listen. I'm going to have her try to make some popcorn. I don't know if they can even get back here. Let's see if we can try to cook some popcorn. Can she do it? Looks like she might be able to get back there. At first, I was afraid that she wouldn't be able to fit back here. Like, y'all know it's a certain amount of room the Sims need to do stuff. So, I was just afraid she wasn't going to be able to do it. But it looks like she can do it just fine. She's making some popcorn. Um, The movie is apparently over. and people. Oh, oh okay. Um, What's going on here? Uh, Brianna looks terrified. Uh, she needs to use the restroom really bad. Looks like she also needs to use the bathroom too. So I'm gonna have Anjanelle go use a different bathroom. So I'm gonna teleport maybe her in here and have her use the bathroom. This cabin trip's been going okay. I just, uh, it's just hard controlling so many sims. I think my max is four people. After four people, it gets chaotic. It's like at the point where I'm like, Ooh, what is going on? Um, it's the fact that Tom Peepy decided he wanted to peep through the garage. Like, um, let's jump him. Is there a mod to jump people? Because I totally would have all of them jump him. Um, there's clothes all over the floor. Yikes. Alright, so, two of them have used the bathroom. The movie's over and they decided to walk out. Um, what is Cajun and all of them doing anyway? Um, Cajun's about to grab a bucket of chicken. She's hungry. Did she not eat? I'm gonna have one of them make breakfast. Even though they never went to sleep. Yikes. Um, yeah, they never went to sleep yet. Probably gonna have them sleep and then maybe wake up and eat brunch at 11. It's almost 7 o'clock. I'm having Malaysia make popcorn, but it seems like most of them are tired and kind of like... Ugh. So, I kind of want to pick rooms. So, I think I'm gonna have Mariah, maybe Mariah, sleep in this room. Because this is actually my favorite room. This boho-themed room. So, Mariah doesn't seem to be tired. She's hungry. Her social level's low. I'm just spruce that up a smidge and then make her tired. So I'm gonna make us make her tired because I've not her trying to grab some chicken. I'm gonna teleport Mariah in here and I'm gonna have her uh, go ahead and get some sleep even though she's not even tired. And then she's really close to Dynasty, so Dynasty is about to go get some water. After that, I'm gonna have her sleep. So she's gonna share a room with Dynasty. Brianna, I noticed, was very tired. She's red. So she's going to use the bathroom. And I'm going to have her sleep in the floral room. So sleep. And her best friend is Malaysia. So I'm going to have Malaysia share a room with her. So I'm going to have her sleep. Uh, Janelle, energy is pretty low. She has to use the bathroom. I'm going to have her sleep in the cute little room. So she's going to use the bathroom to sleep. I have Malaysia set to sleep somewhere. Breeze, good. Mariah's good, Dynasty's good, Kasia is just hungry, so 
I'm going to have her eat this barbecue chicken slider because why didn't she eat it? I think I was having on um, Aminata eat it and she never ate it. All right. Let's go ahead and have her eat that. And then I might have her sleep in the bed. And then Devin, I forgot Devin. Devin's not even tired, but her bladder is low. I'm going to have her go in the master bedroom and use the bathroom and take her a thoughtful shower. I just got to make sure everybody's good. And then Aminata is doing good. All her levels are good. So I'm going to have her just probably channel surf or something. So everybody should be doing something. Mariah's about to get in the bed and she's rooming with Dynasty. I really wish they could like double bed it so like two people in their bed, but for some reason if they're not family, it won't they won't let it won't let them do it. It keeps like saying like, you know, doing that little air that somebody's in the way or something's in the way. So I was like, okay. Um I mean not a stayed up. She's staying up and she's watching Black Ink Crew on the big screen. Love that for her. Alright, did she ever finish that popcorn? Because I don't even think she ever did. Oh, she did. Grab a servant. Oh, I didn't mean for her to grab a servant. Crap. I meant for Aminata to grab a servant. Aminata's bored. Let's see. Boring movie from watching a movie. You could call that movie the sleeper hit of the year. Emphasis on sleeper. That's why she was on her phone. I'm dead. Uh, she doesn't really like how it's decorated. Wow. Um, world weary. For those with sophisticated tastes, some TV channels are merely noise, some drivel. Uh, I don't even know. Okay. Grab a serving since you're so bored, sis. I don't know. Let's fulfill her fun level since she's so bored. She's gonna grab some popcorn and then she's about to go talk or do the kick stand. Oh, she's trying to get drunk. That's why she bored. She's trying to get drunk. Okay. All right. So half of them are asleep. Um, Anjanelle asleep. Um, Malaysia's asleep. Bree sleep. Mariah's asleep. I'm gonna have them wake up about eleven thirty and do brunch. Um, Dynasty is asleep. Cage is up eating the chicken sandwich she never ate. Um, Devin is taking a shower. Oh my gosh. Let me get rid of all of these. Cause what? Why? There's a whole laundry room. Y'all can definitely put y'all laundry in the... I don't have a laundry basket. That's probably why. Alright, let's destroy... Tom Peepin need to get on somewhere. Like, leave us alone. All right, so the rain looks like it let up. It's cloudy and cool outside. Ignore the fact that it's day eight of fall in my game. It's supposed to be winter, but I didn't want it to be snowing yet. Uh, so the only people that are up are Aminata, Devin, and Kasia. Aminata is eating some popcorn and talking to Kasia. Or she's about to do the stand with Kasia. And then Devin is taking a shower. Uh, I'm going to have her freshen up. Sock self up. Let's see her little friend list. She got a little boot thing? No. Not her only being cool with Anjanelle and Mariah. <laughs> like, she needs to get get to know everybody else. That was the whole point of this freaking trip. And she put on her um, sophisticated outfit. I don't know if she's tired or not, but I'm going to have her... Um... Is Kasia not going to sleep in the bed? Um... I don't even think she's tired. All right, what is Mommy Nada doing? Eating popcorn? Okay, um, Dynasty just woke up. I'm actually gonna probably see if Dynasty can relax and watch some TV. Silently, I guess. Watch TV. Mommy Nada. She's bored. I'm probably gonna see if she can get on the computer and sit. And uh, um, maybe she could socialize. Since the chat room, I'm gonna have her just talk to somebody random. Talk to Dustin. Hey. 
All right, so. Oh wait, can she sleep with her? Oh wait, okay, so maybe it is working. She's sleep, oh, okay. See, I told y'all they can't sleep in the same bed together if they're not related. All right, um. Can she sleep in here? Oh, maybe I should assign it. Okay, assign left side to Devin. Assign right side. Okay, here, just do that. All right, girl, um, she's about to try to get on the computer, but I was having somebody else get on the computer. Um, so Devin really wants to take a photo with Malaysia and sing a karaoke song. I'm gonna let her do that. She'll take a picture when she wakes up. Um, somebody just text uh, Brianna and said, congratulations landing that sweet job. I think you're going to be, it's going to be great for you. And it was Jaylen from the quad. Um, she's a writer's assistant and she's not going to work because, uh, we're all going to cabin trip. Um, y'all know on trips y'all barely go to sleep. Like what is sleep when you can just, you know, stay up an all nighter. They're all over the place. Y'all I'm just, uh, Devin is about to go take a nap in the hammock. Cage is knocked out in the big queen bed. Dynasty is chilling and watching some TV. She's very well rested. Mariah is getting all her Z's. She ain't playing. Mariah is hungry. So I'm going to have somebody get up and make brunch. Brianna's asleep. Malaysia. Okay, based on who all is awake, I don't think I'm going to have whoever's awake make breakfast. So it looks like Aminata should make breakfast. Let's check her cooking level. I was gonna have her get on the computer and chat with some people. But wait, I said I was gonna have them get up at 11 to eat. So maybe around 10, 45, I'll have her get up and make breakfast. I was about to check her cooking level, which is at a non-existent. Okay. So let's go ahead and cheat up her cooking level. We're gonna go to MC Command Center. We're gonna go to MC Cheats. Cheat some info, skill cheats. We're gonna set skill level two, and we're gonna choose. All right, so we want her cooking skill level to be, you know, decent. So let's do, her level was at a one. I'm gonna make it an eight. Let's make, let's pretend like, you know, she know how to do a little something, something on the grill, okay? All right, so let's close out of all of that. I may not have learned the recipe for apple pie. She can also flavorize a meal to make it higher quality. Okay, sit down and chat on the forum or whatever you were gonna do. Talk to Dustin. Looks like Malaysia just woke up. She's in the floral room. And um, maybe she can relax and watch TV like, you know, just chill for a little bit until everybody gets active and up. So, watch TV. Oh, she's too far from the TV. She can't, like, lay down and watch TV at the same time. All right. Dynasty can because she's closer to the TV. She's about to chat with Malaysia since I guess they're both up. She really wants to chat with Mariah and have a mud fight. Somebody wanted to take a picture with uh malaysia i think that was devin um Mariah just made some money from her youtube video she posted how to contour for how to contour for beginners mariah ashley she got 290 dollars from that and then fall fashion tips for college students got 324 brianna's not going to work um i think it was devin that wanted to take a picture with um malaysia she's about to she was gonna do peer play ping pong Okay, so I'm gonna see if she can take a picture with um, Malaysia, cause Malaysia is up. All right, so let's go ahead and click Devin. And have her take photo with, not of, take photo with, child. Um, take photo, take selfie with Malaysia. Cause she really wanted to do that. That was one of her 
things she was thinking about and she's also wanting to sing a karaoke solo song oh what the heck come on she's all the way over here i thought dynasty was her at first all right so dynasty sits or something i don't know all right so they're about to take a picture oh that's really cute they complement each other so well. Skins are popping, okay? So they're bonding, taking pictures together. Love that. Let's look at this picture that they just took. Um, I'm in the wrong Sims inventory. All right, picture was cute. All right, the picture came out cute. Let's put a red frame on it, cause y'all know they're deltas. So let me put a little red frame on that. I'm gonna go ahead and save this progress. All right, y'all, so I just saved the progress. And I just realized I had Mariah invite the Till and the Ace, which the Ace is Kennedy, the Till is Journey. I had her invite them to hang out a lot because obviously I'm unable to control them due to the fact that, I, oh, wait, hold on. Okay, so there's some neighbors that came. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I had to have them live here in order for this to work. I set this lot as generic and I had them come to the lot, right? Then when I was trying to walk in or go to it, it would not let them do it. It just kept saying error. I tried to have them rent it out, you know, because you can rent lots. It wouldn't work. So I had to have them literally live here. So that's why their neighbors showed up. But let's pretend these girls came over to party, okay? They was like, okay, okay. Um, they live in a little RV across the, uh, wait, where's the RV they live at? Child, I don't know where it is. They live in an RV. Oh, this little RV right here. And I'll link that in the description. It should be free at this point. Um, maybe somebody that's up can go greet them. I don't know. But anyways, it's 1030. I think I was going to have Aminata cook. So Aminata's on the computer. She's talking to Dustin. I'm going to cancel that. And I could do the kids cook together interaction, but that takes so long. Let's destroy this old plate of food. Let's do... Oh, there's some clothes in the garage. Crap. Okay. Destroy. Oh, I didn't know you could set the laundry state. I, okay. Um, I'm gonna have her... I was gonna do a granny's recipe meals. I wanna do brunch. But nothing on this list, list gives brunch. So we're going to go ahead and click the stove. We're going to do serve brunch. Meatloaf. Okay. No. Breakfast scrambled. Okay. Okay. Let's just do some shrimp and grits. So Aminata is about to make some shrimp and grits for brunch for the girls aminata really wants to find a collectible stargaze with kennedy and watch a world culture network show i guess kasia is still knocked out um dynasty is chilling um i'm gonna have everybody that's up head downstairs so they can greet these girls all right so i'm gonna have, have dynasty go here um, Brianna, Malaysia, maybe Malaysia can say hey to Fallon. Okay, so I guess he want to bring some nasty fruit cake. We don't want it, sir. I'm gonna reset him because no. Put that and destroy. Destroy it. All right, so this is, these are the neighbors. These are my Sims, Sidel, or I think it's pronounced Sidel Mayo. And then we have Fallon Carmichael, and this is Sidel's boyfriend, Jaquel Teague. And they're coming just to, you know, chat it up with us. I was gonna have Malaysia say hey to her, or just greet them. Um, friendly introduce. Oh, I don't think I locked the door for everyone, but Mariah and I forgot I did that. Allow access to 
to Malaysia. So Malaysia can get through here. Go. All right. Say, do friendly introduce yourself to Sidell. All right, so Malaysia's introducing herself to the neighbors that just came. Um, I mean, not that she'd be working on these shrimp and grits. Devin is having a horrible time. She's angry. Um, she's about to chat it with chat it up with Brianna. She really wants to play an instrument and go swimming. So, uh, let me go ahead and fulfill those for you. Let's. Um. Swim angry laps. Okay. Um, Kasia, Dynasty's up. She's about to chat with Devin. I'm actually about to have her fill cups with beer. We getting active early. Mariah is still asleep, girl child. She was going through it. She was getting every bit of Z she can catch. Okay. Yes, yeah, so let's miss work because we're on vacation. Was she about to go to work? Because she couldn't get through the door, I guess. Perfect, because I probably would have missed the fact that she was leaving. All right, sit. All right, Malaysia's just introducing herself to the neighbor. Oh, oh wow, okay. Um, Aunt Janelle's asleep. All right, all right. So we're just going to put our attention to... Devin stomping around. Um... Well, let's grab some beer. Let's get active early. So I'm gonna have Brianna. Okay, looks like Devin fulfilled her need. She really wants to play, wanted to play an instrument. Brianna, grab a cup and then Dynasty. Somebody's calling Mariah. Jocelyn Murdoch, which she's a OG Delta Sigma Theta woman. Jocelyn Murdoch would like to come over and hang out. Is that okay? Oh. I guess she want to check up on us. Okay. Um, Devin's new skill in piano will allow her to unlock new options. Okay. So Devin is on the piano. Now she really wants to be mischievous to Mariah. And then she wants to go swimming. Why am I hearing the dog barking? What is going on? Okay, anyways, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and head to regular programming. She's about to eat this barbecue chicken slider, but no, you need to eat the shrimp and grits that Aminata's making. So I'm gonna go ahead and have her go ahead and head in and grab her some beer. First come, first serve. I'm gonna have her grab, well, let's have her fill cups with beer and then drink. And then, um,. I'm about to drag this into the refrigerator. And Tom Peeping is still pissing me off. Somebody can be mopping. All right, so I mean, not as working on the shrimp and grits, Devin. Okay, shrimp and grits is done. There is seven left so it should be enough for everybody that's here um i'm not as grabbing her some devin needs to grab her some occasion needs to get up grab her a serving dynasty's about to mop then i'm gonna have her grab a serving brian needs to get up out her slumber and grab a serving brie Watching Devin, I guess she because she was on the pet piano. Malaysia is filling cups with beer. Then I'm gonna have her grab a serving, and then Anjanelle could get up and grab a serving. All right, everybody should be getting them a plate. Hopefully, everybody gets to eat, especially the ones that are actually hungry. All right, so we're waking up. It is brunch time. We're eating shrimp and grits made by Aminata. Mariah made dinner last night, so. And the neighbors are still outside waiting on us. Like, we are not, we're not inviting y'all in. It's a Delta Sigma Theta only brunch cabin weekend, okay? So they're all sitting by the bar. I really wish they would have sat 
at the dining area that I made, but you know, whatever. All right, so Malaysia's eating, Devin's eating, Aminata's eating, Bree's eating, looks like Kasia, Mariah, and Anjanelle are sitting at the dining table, and Dynasty's sitting on the cooler. All right, so they're the only ones that somebody is calling Mariah. Oh my gosh. Cashton Graham is offering us a job as a painter, and Mariah's actually an intern or something. She's a media production intern, so she's doing what she loves. Mariah really, she's a um communications major, but she really wants to pursue a career in like, you know, making movies, photography, all that. So she looks so cute. I need to take a little cute little thumbnail. Hold on, hold on. She's sitting with her sorority girls. They're eating shrimp and grits. Let's go ahead and print screen that. Play. All right, so everybody's eating. Dynasty, not Dynasty. Um. The two other girls have not shown up. I'm about to have somebody whip him. Like whip his freaking tail. I'm gonna try to do MC Command Center and make him leave. So actually, before I click on him, I'm gonna reset him. In MC Command Center, there's a way to make them leave. I'm sure there's a quicker cheat than that, but let's cheat. Make him leave. Cause why are you here? What is the purpose? All right, so everybody's eating. Let's turn on some music. I think this works. Somebody's calling Bree. Um, no, we're not answering. We're not working today. Um, turn on hip hop. All right, so they're loading their dishes, I think, or cleaning their dishes. Okay. Ashley Miller, oh, she's calling us. Not, she was the head of the line. She was in charge of making sure everybody was together. She texted us a blank message, maybe it was an error. Uh, say yes, I don't know. Child, I don't know what she even asked, it didn't even pop up. Um, all right, so she called Malaysia. Malaysia wants to admire herself in the mirror and buy an object worth $500. All right, admire herself. I don't even see an option to admire herself. Check yourself out. I don't know. All right, so they should all be cleaning up. I think what I want them to do today, maybe they can go sit on the pool and chat. Um, there's some beer right here. See, this is what I was talking about. When you click the fryer, it's gonna bring up an option to set the oil. So what type of oil you want? I can only do newbies oil, I guess, because they've never really used it. Um, cook, only thing pops up is french fries because I probably don't either have the ingredients or their cooking level is just not high enough. Okay, so oh my Nada needs to use the restroom. She's about to go do that. Attractiveness. All right, so Malaysia thinks she's very attractive. Oh, she wants to admire herself because she's been drinking. She's a little tipsy. Um, let's check everybody's needs. Everybody's needs are pretty much green. Um, Bree's social level is pretty low. She's about to do the kickstand with Devin. Oh my gosh. Mariah's good. Maybe they can all go into the pool. Or, you know. No. Oh, I didn't mean to move that child. Ugh. All right. Let's form a group and have them all get in together. Because I don't have time to individually have each of them get in. So, I'm going to click on a random household member form group and I'm gonna do it with everybody and then I'm going to click get in together then I'm also gonna have her check on Kennedy because they were supposed to be coming weren't they like it's two other girls and part of the the line and they left because I can't, I'm not controlling them and I it was pretty much like I invited them out instead of them being a part of the whole ordeal. 
she's texting or she's calling um Kennedy. They're getting in the jacuzzi get together. Why did she get in just to get right out? And why are they still wearing their pajamas? Oh, okay. Maybe it was late reaction. Alright, so... Uh, Dynasty, Mariah, Aminata had to use the bathroom. Why didn't you go? Like, I'm confused. Maybe she was on her way and then I stopped her because I did this. Uh, Malaysia. I think this is Brie. Then Kasia. Alright, it looks like she's about to try to get out because she has to do the bathroom okay look at all these clothes that just went all over the place um aminata is about to go use the restroom all right i'm gonna go have her go use the bathroom y'all just get so bored don't y'all like she's trying to get on the computer like why can't we all get back in cage is in dynasty's getting out get in brianna's in have her talk to her sisters. Um, Brighton Day. Have her get back in. Aunt Janelle got out. All right. Aminata's the only one that, you know, needed to use the restroom, so. All right, perfect. They're all in. I wanted to get a cute little picture. I know the moment I click play, somebody's gonna get out. So I'm gonna just try to get the picture while I can. Their faces look awful. Look at Kasia's face, y'all. She relaxed as heck. <laughs> Sitting in the jacuzzi, chilling. Okay. Devin looks like she's trying to get out. And go listen to music. Alright. Um, Anjana has the bad and bougie trait. So she's angry. Not over here. Whatever that sim problem is. I hope they keep it over there. Uh, not somebody beefing for bad and bougie trait. I don't do outdoors baby. Well you gonna do them today girl. We on a whole cabin trip. Uh, what did it say about Journey and. Okay Journey and Kennedy will be right over. Alright. Let's see. Are they here yet? Because I don't see them. The neighbors are still outside. I don't see. I see a Naya. I don't know, y'all. I might have to just teleport them back here with the teleport statue. Because what is really going on? What is really going on? Delicious dish. Bored. Devin is bored. Um, I'm over everything. What's next? She got out the hot tub. Um, she's about to go dancing. I'm gonna have her, uh, Sims are nothing but a sub, Dave, indoors. It's not even indoors. Oh, cause there's a thing over. Okay, she can't sun bathe if there's no sun going on her. Got you. All right, I'm gonna have her just chill on it then. Relax. Or maybe she can go ride by, I don't know. I'm going to lock every, lock, okay, I'm going to unlock, then I'm going to lock the door for everyone but household members. <laughs> Bless me, I'm sorry, I hope I cut that out. All right, so I unlock the door for everyone but household members so they can go outside or, you know, get outside. Andrew. Journey and Kennedy have yet to arrive. All right, everybody's getting out the hot tub because I guess they're bored or whatever. Brianna and Kasia are still in there. Somebody's calling Mariah. Okay. Another job offer that I don't want to take. Let's go ahead and um, destroy all these clothes that they started. I wanted to do movie night. That went okay. Um, I wanted them to play games, you know, swim, sit in the jacuzzi together. Um, just chill. Maybe they can play this together. So, um... Oh, uh, dang, you can only have four people play at once. All right, who was I about to have go outside? I think Devin was going outside to get on the four-wheeler. And she's chilling on the, uh. All right, Aminata's about to dance.
All right. Um. It's two o'clock. Um. They're about to play this little game outside. You know, a little bonding. I think the All right, Dynasty and Kaja are in the hot tub. Mama, Bloom, Apollo Chava, Rinka Shalvo, Obani. All right, Kaja's feeling confident. Um, somebody sent her some nasty text. She has to use the bathroom and she doesn't like how it's decorated. Um, Dynasty is feeling happy. Her hands are dirty. She really wants to chat with Mariah and play in a leaf pile. Malaysia's playing. It's Malaysia, Mariah, Brianna, and Anjanelle are playing. I mean, not just ten in the bar. All right. Let's prepare Kava. I'm just having them do whatever. I'm also trying to fulfill what they want to do. So she really wants to stargaze with Kennedy. Uh -huh. And watch World Culture Network. I'm going to go into build mode and put some teleport statues down. Because Kennedy and Journey never showed up. Alright, so I teleported both the girls that I was missing earlier. Um, Jordan. Not, Jer not Jordan. Journey. Journey's right here. Oh, I made her chest mask way too dark. That doesn't even look right. Um, Journey's here, so she is the tail of the line. She's about to go clean out the refrigerator. Apparently, there's spoiled food. She's gonna empty out the refrigerator. Love that. And then Ariana... What? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm just making up names at this point. Kennedy, which is the ace, number one, she's here now. She's about to drink a rainbow cocktail. So, sis was ready to get lit, okay? She wasn't playing no games. But she's just drinking and chilling. I mean, not to... Okay, so there's a kava bowl that comes with Island Living, and they're drinking from that. So her, I mean, not and Devin are drinking from that. Um, Mariah's playing the little shoe horse little game with Anjanelle, Bree. Malaysia and Dynasty. I put down like a little slip and slide, but like they keep saying that they can't get to it or I don't know. But they're just playing around. It's almost five o'clock. I think I'm probably gonna have them get in the pool or something or maybe play games together. I don't know. I didn't really think a lot of this through, but you know, there it's a cabin trip. They're enjoying, you know, their sisterhood, their time together. Oh, not Devin coming over here to flirt with somebody. Um, looks like Devin is flirting. All right, Mariah's about to throw the shoe horse. Right, it's called a shoe horse. Oh, sis. <laughs> okay. Dang, sis, you almost had it. Okay, so they're just playing that. Um, Aminata is doing dishes. There's music on in here. Okay. I'm gonna have Aminata come out here and mix some drinks. So let's do some mixed citrus swig. Okay, they're all s terrible at this game. Kennedy, I'm gonna have her come outside. Who else is inside? Um, I think Aminata needs to come out. Oh, she's already outside. She's mixing some drinks. Let's go ahead and... All right, so she poured some drinks. So I'm gonna have Aminata grab a drink. I may have Kennedy grab a drink. Um, Devin is about to chat with Journey. Let me see if she can grab a drink. Mariah, just whoever wants to grab a drink, yeah. All 
Alright, so we're just drinking and chilling on this Sunday evening. Okay, you've been in that jacuzzi for a while. Like, sis, are you good? Somebody's calling Journey. Jay Lynn. Hey, Journey, you... Ugh, oh my gosh. Hey, Journey, you're so notorious that one of my unscrumptious friends has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? <laughs> sure. I... I messed that whole thing up. Like, I don't even know what I was trying to say. Anyways, they're still playing the shoe horse game. Looks like <laughs> Malaysia might be flirting with somebody. They're all going inside. What's going on? Okay, they're all over the place. I put down some scented candles and it, like, smells really good. Why are they still out here? Like... Y'all just gonna stand out here all day? Look, I just see him smoking a, um, a blunt. Let me find out he's the plug. Um, but we're on a sorority trip. I don't think they'll like that, you know, smoking probably won't be the best thing to do. They are drinking a little bit, just a little bit. Um, Journey and Anjanelle are in here. Um, this candle... Oh, it can change the color, I guess. Okay, let's tr uh let's look at everybody's needs. Um, I mean, not as good. Devin's bladder is low. Mariah, oh my gosh, Mariah's about to pee on herself. Um, let's see if she can go in here and use the bathroom real quick, even though they're in here. She's probably just gonna sh shoot them. Uh, Journey is dehydrated. Um, not Brianna. I was about to say, I know she is not at work. Alright, so they're chatting it up. Love that. Mariah should be going to go use the restroom because she's about to pee on herself. She needs to put on a new pad. Or it says replace tampon in eight hours. She's wearing a tampon and a pad. Alright. I'm actually going to have her text. Okay, so I don't know if I even mentioned or in the last video but brendan did cheat on mariah with one of the roommates that lives in their dorms her name's alana that's why she's beefing with her and she started messing around with angelo which is super messy because angelo is supposed to be dating kalia's best friend brooklyn they messed around like i think twice and like he's in love like i'm talking about he is in love y'all i'm gonna text him i'm gonna just send that happy text you know what yeah, send a happy text. Now, we're still okay with Brendan, but I don't know. I really don't know. I don't... I think it's really messy for her to pursue Angelo, but Brendan, like, literally, like, slept with Alana, and we all live in the same dorm. Like, how dare you? And Caden, he's cute, but I don't know. And then Corday, he's not doing anything with his life. He just sells, you know, bud for a living and, you know shows up the college parties randomly but mariah's feeling happy so feeling great clean hands smooth sipping and she doesn't have any mood swings does someone just shoot her out oh not dynasty shooting her out girl okay i'm about to leave out chill um kennedy is boxing all right so it's six o'clock not them hungry like i don't think i hope you didn't expect us to feed y'all look at mariah's face why is she outside looking like looking at them like this? I need to get a little thumbnail. Oh, my reshade is on. She looks so cute. Let's see if he's the plug. We about to click and see. I forgot you have to have a decent meter. Let's respectfully introduce ourselves to Jaquel Teague, Fallon Carmichael, and then Sidel Mayo. Not rude. Let's just friendly introduce ourselves. Alright. Y'all could have been left hours ago. Like, y'all are really just sitting in here. Sitting out here. And he's starving. Like, y'all can go. You know that, right? We didn't invite them in because essentially we moved into the neighborhood in a way. Even though this is supposed to be like a riddle. Um, Anjanelle's jamming. 
She really wants to start a club gathering, a view a piece of art, tell a joke. Um, maybe they can all come over here. So maybe invite to hang out Brianna, Malaysia, Devin, Aminata, Mariah, Journey, Kennedy. Fallon just, oh, not they became good friends already. She just met her. Look at their meter, y'all. That's how much Mariah is just like so loved. Why is her CC not coming in? Look at the bird. Okay. Uh -oh, what is going on with Mariah? She's out here talking to, you know, some random, so. She's about to go hang out by the fireplace. Hopefully they leave because they've been because they've been out here for a while. Oh my gosh. Can I talk? Like, oh my goodness. Alright, so we're about to go hang out. Ooh, okay. Malaysia's getting it. Um, cozy fireplace. Her hands are dirty. Made my day from a friendly text. She needs to go wash her hands. Uh, Mariah is sitting by the fireplace. One, okay, Devin's bladder is l very low. Okay, let's skip that. Yeah, let's sit back down, sis, because now. Oh my gosh, sit. Then I'm going to have Mariah light it. Rihanna can sit here. <laughs> Alright, so I might each have them do something with the fire. So, Aminata's over here. I'm gonna have her roast a marshmallow. Then Devin can roast a marshmallow. Um... Mariah is saying something to Aunt Janelle, but I'm going to have her roast a marshmallow. So I'm going to basically have them all roast marshmallows. Sing songs is blank dot. Oh, you need guitar level three. Roast marshmallow. Brianna. Roast. I'm going to change it up. I'm going to have her roast a hot dog. Um, Kennedy, her levels are good. I'm going to have her roast. A marshmallow. Malaysia is not in the circle, and Anjanelle isn't either. No, Anjanelle is. The only person not in the circle is um, Kasia in Malaysia. So, oh, let's have her add a log and then roast a hot dog. Kasia, I'm not controlling. I don't think Malaysia's washing her hands. All right, so Malaysia really wants to sing a karaoke duet. Well, since her and Kasia aren't by the fire, maybe they could do a duet together. So let's do sing duet, a country one, I guess, with Kasia. She's not even popping up as an option. Is she not even like that close to Kasia? Kasia is walking somewhere. Where does she go? Okay, I know I'm not tripping, but I've seen her walking from here. Okay, so Anjanelle acquired the mischief skill. Welcome to the neighborhood. Okay, these are all old, I think. Um, Maybe she can play ping pong with... Ugh, it's still not popping up. It's showing people that... Um, it's showing people that are outside. I'm gonna have her ride around. Why is she naked? <laughs> Alright, so we're roasting marshmallows. Not sure why Kennedy has this random outfit on, but I guess. So we're bonding, you know, even though we're missing two people, yeah. 
Well, Angelo, wait, Angelo texts Journey. Hey, Journey, I've heard a lot about you. Mostly bad things, but that's okay. People usually don't like me either. We should hang out sometime. Oh, wow. Not Angelo. Our little sneaky link. Because <laughs> he is a sneaky link. Because I know it was wrong, but she's just, you know, was really hurting when Brendan cheated on her. So she went and slept with uh, Angelo like twice. And he just texts Journey. Talk about we should hang out. Like, um, these dudes be something else, I'll tell you. Uh, what is Malaysia doing? Oh, she's about to go get on the four-wheeler. Okay, sis, you go ahead on. I don't know what happened to Kasia, but I don't even see her anymore. Because I removed Kasia and Dynasty from the... That, I, that's... That's the other person we're missing. So right here is seven people and we're missing three, which is Malaysia, Kasia, and Dynasty. But I don't know where they went. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, when I remove them from the family, they just leave. They like just randomly just leave. I'm gonna destroy this. I really don't want this video to be super long, but y'all already know how I am. Appears that Kasia, Dynasty, all them left. I hate that. Ooh. Okay. What? Oh no, Malaysia is under attack by very ill-tempered bats. She wasn't even out doing anything criminal. What? Yikes, not her getting attacked by bats while she's on the four-wheeler. Um, girl, take yourself back home. I mean, back to the cabin. Look at her face, y'all. I need to get this as a thumbnail. Because what? Attacked by bats? I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, my gosh. Y'all yeah, gotta get this as a thumbnail. That is crazy. Alright, let me reset her. I ain't got time to be playing around with these bats. Alright. Let's go back over here, girl. Um, I'm gonna teleport her here and have her get in the jacuzzi. She left that bike all the way over there. I forgot. Uh, I gotta go get it. Where the heck did she even leave the bike? I don't. I don't even know where she was at. Um. Oh well. Looks like they're finally leaving. Fallon's still out there. Um. Set color. Let's do red. Oh, it didn't pop up as an option. Okay, it's starting to get dark. It's 8.38. We're by the fire chilling. I'm about to teleport the other three. I mean, yes, the other three. One, and then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're missing two people. I'm about to teleport them. All right, y'all. So I finally teleported Kasia and Dynasty back because they left because I removed them from the family. But the girls are just sitting by the campfire and just talking. They were roasting marshmallows. I actually had, I added Dynasty back to the family. I'm having her hop on the grill and grill some hot dogs. There's some music playing. Um, Where's Mariah at? Mariah has a face mask on. I didn't even recognize her. Well, let's see if she could tell a group story. Um... Add a log and tell a group story with, we can tell a fairy tale about an enchanted snake, an adventure story about a cursed ship, or a ghost story about a sobbing woman. That's a little scary. Let's do a fairy tale and we're gonna do it. We're gonna tell it to Ajanelle Bree, Malaysia. Yep.
All right, so it's 9.05 p.m. The girls are just, you know, bonding, bonfire. I might have them do another movie night. Who knows? Um, I really want to get, like, a cute little thumbnail. It says, Dynasty's new skill in cooking will allow her to prepare delicious, straightforward classics. Yum. The higher the skill level, the more recipes become unlocked. On Janelle's new skill in comedy allows her to tell jokes at a microphone. All right, so let's get like a cute little thumbnail. Not a thumbnail, but a picture. You know, a candid moment. Um, what is she over here talking about? <laughs> um, I'm trying to get a good angle where they all look cute. I like this. I had to hide the little, um, you know, the little group notifications above their heads because I didn't feel like putting um headline effects off Mariah in this face mask has me dead but she's telling a fairy tale and hopefully that keeps everybody engaged Kasia, Anjanelle, Bree, Aminata Malaysia, we got Journey. Is she still? Is she still telling the story? I was gonna say is she till. Oh, what is going on? Dynasty learned the recipe for BLT. Where did she go? Where did Dynasty go? Because, the girl, you just cooked those hot dogs. Okay, let's call it a meal. Cause everybody's leaving anyway. I don't know what happened, but everybody started leaving. First come, first serve, because she only made eight, and it's ten of y'all. Alright, looks like they're about to sit at the table, okay? Well, I hope. We're in our bathing suits eating hot dogs at 9 o'clock p.m. bonding with our sister. Don't we just love a nice sisterhood? Most of them decided that they want to sit at, sit at the table on the last day. Love that. Not Malaysia. Bree sitting at the table, I think. Alright, so um how many are left? One's left. Um Dynasty. I don't know if she, looks like she ate. Uh let's destroy this. Or no, I'm gonna have her go clean it up. Anybody outside? Anjanelle is still outside. Anjanelle and Journey. I think this cabin trip cabin trip went well. Um, they really got to know each other, you know, drank some beer and juice. Oh, Malaysia has to use the restroom. Malaysia, after she gets done eating her hot dog, I'm gonna have her. Why are they still outside? Like, y'all, we might as well invite them in. Because they stayed out here all night. Look at her in the freaking pond. But I was going to have Malaysia use the restroom. Probably going to have them start sh taking a shower and probably go upstairs in the movie room and eat some popcorn and watch movies till everybody is, you know, sleepy and ready to go to bed. But let's check everybody's wants. So Aminata really wants to earn $500 and watch TV. Devin really wants to buy a pool light and be mischievous, mischievous to Mariah. She's feeling passionate. Happily ever after. She told the story quick because <laughs> she wasn't talking long. Uh, she listened to a story about a faraway fantasy land. Mm, marshmallows from eating a marshmallow. Nothing better than golden brown, perfectly toasted marshmallows. Okay, s'mores. Okay. So, Kaja really wants to sing a duet. Maybe she can do a duet with somebody. Sing duet with... She has the highest meter with Dynasty, so maybe she could do a di uh, duet with Dynasty. Mariah really wants to do a gathering and level up her mixology skill, so maybe she can make some drinks for people. So let's um, make drink for everyone. Let's make some something real light and simple. So I still want to like stay in the wine. Let's do like some. River Blossom Hills wine. 
Because we did red wine yesterday night, so. And I need to destroy these cups of beer because they are stinking. Um, destroy. All right, cool. All right, so Kasia and Dynasty are doing a duet. They sound terrible. Oh, no, Dynasty don't sound bad. Kasia sounds terrible. Hopefully she gets her 25 little points for it because she wants to, wanted to do a karaoke duet, so. She's doing that, hopefully, you know, that fulfills her, le you know, her need. Um, she's about to, oh, okay. I mean, not just about to grab her wine. Oh my God. They sound terrible. All right, so we're drinking wine and eating hot dogs. That's a lovely combination, isn't it? Somebody needs to put this fire out, like for real. Everybody's grabbing a glass of wine. Okay, so Mariah leveled up her mixology skill. Great, so that went away. Um, not them trying to leave. Whoever I didn't have in the family is trying to leave. Um, roast fish over a campfire. I don't know who's trying to leave, actually, because I can't even see their picture. But, um... Who is this? Oh, this is Adele. If they don't go ahead and go home, um, we need to put these fires out though. I need to have Malaysia put this out, put out. All right, uh, so Dale just said she should really get going. You should, probably should have been going a long time ago. Uh, we never invited you in. I mean, not the, has to use the bathroom. And Tom Peeping has arrived yet again. Why can't she go use the restroom? All right, so I think... We're done drinking our wine and eating our hot dogs. There's two glasses of wine left. Aminata is freaking... Uh-oh. Aminata seems to have too many drinks. She becomes drunk in 19 minutes. She really has to pee. Fabulous finish from drinking nectar. The journey led to an incredibly flavorful finish that did not disappoint. Blushing. Happily ever after from the fairy tale eating marshmallow s'mores. Pretty tasty food. Tipsy. Devin is feeling fearless, made a new good friend, tantalizing tannins. I already read hers. Cage is feeling confident, pretty much all the same. Um, smooth, glowy skincare, and nailed it from singing karaoke poorly. Some people just don't understand raw talent when they see it. She really wants to stargaze with Mariah and get a promotion. Dynasty is happy, feeling great, karaoke amateur from singing karaoke well. Stage fright, be darn. Dynasty is starting to get the hang of this. Pretty tasty. I told y'all Dynasty sounded way better than Kasia. Mariah's feeling confident. All the same fairy tale s'mores. By the fire. Acne immunity. Smooth, glowy skin. She's wearing a tampon and a pad. And she took some mood swings. Pills for her cramps. Brianna is pretty much all the same. She's feeling fearless. Malaysia's feeling real flirty. I think she has a crush on somebody. I like literally think that. And then Anjanelle's feeling confident. Um, she's a little tipsy. Okay, a little tipsy. I'm Africa here. Alright, Mariah. 
That's her jam. She wasn't playing either. Alright, so we're about to go upstairs and go watch a movie. So I'm gonna teleport on Janelle. Alright, Tom Peeping is just like ridiculous. It's like, what? Why? Why? You don't have anything else better to do with your life. Alright, so I'm gonna reset Devin. Have her teleport where Aunt Janelle is. So I'm gonna put Devin teleport. Sit. Um, Kasia is jamming. She's, uh, dancing. Bree, Kasia, Mariah is chilling. What is Mariah about to do? Mariah's about to go sleep. Um, girl, no. Oop, oop, almost made her exhausted. I'm about to reset her. Reset. Reset. Sorry, I'm interrupting your dancing, but we're about to do a movie night. Because we did it super late last time. Did Malaysia put out those fires? Or right, Malaysia didn't put out this yet. She's about to. She's drinking her wine. So I reset it. Brie, Cajun, Mariah. I mean, not to use it in the bathroom. After that, I'm going to have her go upstairs. I'm going to have her sit here. Um, who else is in the bathroom? Uh, Dynasty. I'm going to teleport Dynasty upstairs. All right, somebody needs to turn something on. So I'm gonna have Devin um, watch movie with. I'm gonna click something random. All right, so they're eating popcorn, watching a movie in the movie room, having a movie night in their pajamas. Mariah just entered the room. They need to take some showers because I know it's a couple of them probably funky, okay? Couple of them. Oh my gosh, okay. Why are they crying? Okay, I see six people, so we're missing four. Um, Aminata, okay. Aminata and Keja are making their way in. So that's eight. Uh, Janelle, Malaysia, three. Okay, I forgot that two people weren't a part of the family. And they probably left again, so. Um, oh well. Um. Oh my gosh, these trees are in the way. Yeah, they probably left, but oh well, y'all get it. Having a movie night and you know just chilling. It's almost one in the morning. Oh my gosh, Aminata is dripping blood and her pad is fishy. Okay, sis, you need really need to get yourself together. All right, so there's some pads in here. I may ha I'm gonna have Aminata come in. I forgot she was supposed to be starting her period. Open the box. Open the box. Like, what's going on? Unpack it. I'm going to have her... I'm actually going to have her take a shower. Take a thoughtful shower. Put on a tampon. And then brush her teeth. Yes. 
Yeah, I mean, not just the one stinking. Her pad is fishy. Or she's fishy or something. Devin. Just checking everybody else's needs. Mariah's getting tired. I'm gonna have her. Ooh, I moved one of the seats. Or, uh, I don't know what I moved. Anyways. Get some cereal. Destroy. Does somebody else stink or something? <laughs> Not her shishing her. Okay, so Anjana's bladder is low. Um, I'm gonna have her use this bathroom. All right, so they're gonna all go back home in the morning. This two-day cabin trip was really fun. I don't think I'm gonna stretch it out to three days because I feel like they, you know, bonded, you know, really got away, met, you know, got to know each other more. Um, all right, so something else is stinking because somebody stink. It's not Mariah. Devin, does Devin stink? On Janelle, let's check her. Something just stinks, I think. Because everybody that's sitting right here, their levels are good. Oh, Malaysia's getting in the bed, it looks like. She wasn't playing around. She is getting in the bed. Destroy. Alright, Malaysia got in the bed. Some of them are getting tired. Um, Kasia. I'm about to... I guess I'm going to just let her do her. She over here jamming. Brianna... Rihanna too. They wasn't playing. What is this? Cinema Sin. Rihanna can list all the movies, mistakes, plot holes, and bad dialogue in less than ten minutes. I'm dead. She's. That's why she came back down here. She was over that movie, and it's the fact that he's jacking off. Like why? Like please, please go somewhere. I'm gonna make him leave with the MC Command Center cheat because I'm over it. I'm sick of seeing him. Uh, I don't know why it didn't pop up, but oh well. Anyways, um, I don't know what I mean. Not just doing my game is acting like it doesn't want to act right. Cause like what? All right, uh, cheat make him leave Aminata is about to keg stand with Devin she really wants to sleep it off cause she's drunk she's just getting drunk girl okay oh 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 my gosh okay I'm dead well at least they're bonding Malaysia has a pretty good meter with Devin Bree um, uh, Malaysia turned in early. The rest of them are in the movie theater. Oh, nope, half of them left. They were over this movie. Mariah's eating popcorn and watching the movie, I think. Not her turning off the, uh... Um, okay, uh, Simflix. Mariah's starting to get tired though, so I'm gonna have Mariah go to sleep. Mariah sleep. Um, I'm gonna have. What is Mariah doing? She literally set that plate in the shower. Like, girl, you couldn't be more, uh, disgusting. Like, why? Um,. I'm gonna have Dynasty take a steamy shower and then go to sleep. Relax, watch TV. She's not even tired. Um, Aminata is doing pretty well. She's about to bro hug with Devin. Okay, so a lot of them are down here. Alright, so when morning comes, I'll probably stop the event or the cabin trip. And I'm going to have Mariah go visit her mom, and that will be the end of the LP. So I really want you to um, 
meet her mom and really get to know how Mariah grew up. So Mariah, you know, did her two-day cabin trip with her sorority sisters, and then she's gonna go down. She's from um, Charleston. Oh my gosh, she just farted. And she's going down to her hometown in Charleston to visit her mom and her childhood home. Everything, every lot that I'm going to, I'll link. Most likely, I made it. So this cabin, this cabin, I made it. I'll link it. The place where they had their probate, I made it, and I'll link it. And then her childhood home, I'll link that. So everybody's doing good. So I'm letting everybody just do their thing. Devin's starting to get tired, so I'm probably gonna have her sleep. She didn't really designate her area, so I'm gonna have her sleep wherever. She really wants to compliment the host from being a city girl. And then she really wants to be mischievous when Mariah already read that. Alright, so I'm just having everybody that's actually tired and their energy level is low go to sleep. So, somebody's energy was low. Mariah was. Alright, Mariah, come on. No more TV. Let's go ahead and go to bed. It's 3.30 in the morning. We had a good night. We got little... Some of us got drunk, some of us got tipsy. We watched a movie, we ate good. Why is she what? She's got her Halloween costume on, chilling in the bed. Like, what? Okay, I'm gonna have Dynasty just go to bed. It's the fact that she decided to put her Halloween costume on. She looked cute though. She was like a little slutty fairy or something. I don't know. All right, so Dynasty and Mariah are asleep. Mariah put on a whole different outfit, y'all. Okay. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the cabin trip, because I did. I think they, you know, bonded pretty well. Maybe one or two people beefed, but it's all good. Uh, Anjanelle's starting to get tired. Anjanelle was in, like, that little bed right here. Malaysia sleep. Brianna... Is about to go dance. Girl, you love dancing. Um, instead of dancing, I'm actually going to have her go into the master bathroom and take a bath soak. So let's do a rose petal bath. What is Keja about to do? She's about to get on the computer. Um, and do what? Chat with somebody? Alright. Let's turn off this room. Cause they are trying to go to sleep and then Brianna is going to do a little rose petal bath just chilling so this is just chilling um, Aunt Janelle's asleep Malaysia's asleep Brianna's taking a rose petal bath Mariah's asleep I'm going to probably have them eat breakfast and then they're going to, you know, go their separate ways and go home. Mariah's going to go over her mom and go visit her mom. Uh, Dynasty is asleep. Kasia is up. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, she's on a computer. She's not tired. Devin is sleeping in the big master bed. And then Aminata is about to go to sleep. She's tired, so. Let's turn this off. Turn off all lights. And we're closing off shop. It's five in the morning. So everybody's, you know, going to sleep. Kasia decided she wanted to turn the TV on. Like, girl, you don't need to be disrupting disrupting other people's sleep. Um She's not even tired, but I'm gonna have her. What is she doing? Malaysia? Like, what are you doing? Malaysia's embarrassed because her breath stank. Girl, brush your teeth. Take a thoughtful shower. I'm about to destroy this. Destroy. What is she doing? Does she think she can get in the bed with Mariah? Like what? What is there a bed available, child? Cause two beds available. Okay, sleep. Uh, 
Uh, is Brianna tired? Yeah, she is. Hopefully she sleeps in this bed. She needs to sleep in that bed. It's the fact that, um, I don't know if Brianna and Malay, oh, they have a pretty decent meter, I was about to say. They don't have a meter at all. Malaysia is not doing well. Look at her face. Let's check her out. She is always mean mugging. Like, girl, uh, she needs some plum bob or something. She really wants to chat with Mariah and start a club gathering right here. She's embarrassed, I guess, because her breath was stinking. But I just right clicked all of that and got rid of it because we don't got time for the attitude, sis. Um, she's doing okay. She's about to go do some yoga for a family friend, family friendly yoga pose or something. Maybe she could sit and um. Right jokes. I don't know. Alright, so everybody's asleep. I'm probably gonna have them get up around a Dynasty is not going to work today. She's not gonna make it. Dynasty works as a agency clerk. I don't know, you know, what that even is, but she's a clerk at an agency. Um I'm gonna have her get up and take a steamy shower and brush her teeth. Turn off this. And she's gonna put this out. Some of them literally went to bed at five in the morning, so they might need a couple hours, so I don't know. But I'm gonna have everybody get up around probably nine or something. Malaysia's just up writing jokes on her, on the computer. Alright, Aminata's asleep. Devin's asleep. Kasia's up watching TV. Um, she's dehydrated. Dynasty, why, why'd you got, why do you have that on, sis? All right, I'm gonna have her change her outfit. Yes. All right, Mariah, we're taking part time off because we're gonna be going to go visit our mom. Mariah's getting her much needed rest. So everybody's asleep, I think, except Dynasty and Kasia. They're up. Uh, Oh, okay, Kasia has to use the restroom. I'm actually gonna have her use the restroom and take a thoughtful shower, brush her teeth. All right, so Kasia's about to go use the restroom. I mean, use the restroom and then take a shower, so. Come on, girl, shoot. The shower is so cute and realistic. The little walk-in shower. Where's the other door? I have no idea. All right, so Kasia's just getting herself together. She's just up early. And then Dynasty is did, I thought I had her had her put it out. Did she just light it again? Like, girl, what is wrong with you? Like, what what was the thought process with that? Like, huh? <laughs> and they're just cleaning up, so you know they got to get the Airbnb looking how it was when they, you know, got here, so they don't get charged. So we're just looking around, making sure there's no dirty plates. Um, clean that up. Put that in your inventory, cause we brought that with us. Clean up. So Dynasty is just cleaning up a little bit. Somebody is calling. Kasia. 
a Kalia just texted her and said, hey, I heard you became friends with Daryl Kirkland. He's pretty cool. Daryl Kirkland is a Kappa. I'm not sure what she's talking about, but okay. All right. Kasia put on her probate outfit. <coughs> okay. Well, you look cute, sis. Ooh, Devin woke up with a... What'd be wrong with Devin? Like, she is always pissed off, and she's about to go... Rage fueled run. She's about to get on the treadmill. I'm gonna let her do it. Do you, sis? Do you? She just used the restroom, so I'm probably gonna have her go in here and take an angry poop. I'm gonna have Kasia go out, clean up. Y'all, it's 8 30. I said I wanted them out by like nine. So they need to be out like literally now. All right, Dynasty, not Dynasty. Devin's not doing good. Somebody's calling Dynasty or her boss. Okay, we're not answering that. All right, so we're getting ready to leave the Airbnb. Mariah is gonna go visit her mom. So I'm actually gonna have Mariah get up. Mariah needs to get up needs to take a shower brush her teeth so she can be you know refreshed and smelling good when she goes over her mom's um, we're gonna put on some perfume all right some rise getting ready to leave the Airbnb we didn't have time to make breakfast unfortunately we have to be out of here yes we're missing work Devin, like, what's going on? Let's change your outfits, sis. Because what is going on here? Um, change outfit. Let's put this on. All right. We got Devin together. Aminata is doing some yoga. Like, no, sis, you need to. Just get ready to go because we got to check out. Kasia is doing a keg stand. Like, girl, come on. Dev Dynasty. Uh, Mariah is getting herself together. Brianna, I don't know what she's doing, but after Malaysia's on the computer, I need her to teleport here. I need her to use the restroom. Oh, okay. Y'all all, all want to use the bathroom last minute. All right, we're about to leave the Airbnb. Um, then I, the mo main focus is just going to be Mariah going to go visit her mom. So I'm probably going to go into Cass and have her wear like a cute little outfit. She's going to have like an overnight bag and spend like a couple days with her mom. But I'm only going to show like... Her going over there, showing y'all the house, her bonding with her mom for a little bit, and that'll be the end of the LP. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to that scene. Hey y'all, we are here at Mariah's childhood home in Charleston, South Carolina. And as soon as we came here, her mom was all shocked to see her. Like, didn't Mariah take her mom's whole face? Like, they look just alike, y'all. Like, but Mariah is down here visiting her mom her mom did not expect her but since you know she had to skip out on the probate so early Mariah's mom is also a Delta woman I'm gonna have her greet her mom and then we're gonna have to knock on the door even though her mom is sitting outside um not ask for money I'm dead ask what they want for breakfast see if we can maybe go to breakfast there's a freaking waffle house right there but yeah. Uh, All right, so we're gonna ask our mom what she wants for breakfast. Oh, Ooh, not the mug. She kind of mugged her. I kind of want to show y'all around the house. Mariah is an only child. Um, her dad um wasn't really in her life. Like he was there when she was an infant. But then he sort of skipped out. 
near the time she became a toddler her mom had her pretty young so that they were young and I don't know I think he just wasn't ready so you'll get the backstory of Mariah all right y'all so I'm oh oh Mariah not you going off on your mom already what is she about to even say to her um ask him what they're why they're in your kitchen like girl you are at her house you don't pay no bills here never had but I want to get a little screenshot because not her going off on her. This is her childhood home. It's called 3211 Holyfield Lane. This is the front of the house. Obviously, you can't see the inside until we knock on the door. But this is the little backyard. It's got like a little shed. And then Mariah's mom is very like, you know, old school. So she still does her laundry like hand washes it and everything. So we're going to actually... um knock on door all right we got more money from our youtube videos our sim 2 videos um let me cancel the action of her going off on her mom so she can just go ahead and knock on the door and head in not them beefing like that is not what i wanted <laughs> you to come over here for um she got 333 not 333 331 dollars from her contour video and then 252 from her fall fashion tips for college students so we're gonna head in so the mom let us in let's pretend um i'm gonna add them in a group together so i'm going to click Marion. miriam her name is miriam crow um let's add to group miriam crow so since we're finally able to get in the house um I'm gonna show you around. So as soon as you walk into the house, Mariah hasn't been here in a while. This is the living room. So the living room is giving very much old school. We got the old school TV. We got some little deco items, some books and some DVDs. Um, More DVDs and some plants. Mariah's, Mariah's mom loves plants. So Miriam is her name. She loves plants. Got some little Christmas cards, a little artwork, phone, house phone. Got some more DVDs. Cause Mariah's mom be in here watching her little shows, little movies. And right here is just some pictures of when Mariah graduated from high school. And then this is a picture when Mariah was like maybe two or something like that, like a toddler. She looks so cute in her little yellow outfit in her sock so mariah keeps not mariah miriam mariah's mom keeps pictures of mariah when she was younger mariah is now a sophomore at clark atlanta that is when she graduated from high school so she obviously looks a lot younger mariah's uh mom also keeps scrapbooks out so this is a cute little scrapbook she had on she left the scrapbook out so cute all right, so this is some throwback. So we got Mariah's mom. It's kind of blurry because the scrapbook is kind of bad quality. But this is Mariah and her mom, Miriam. When Mariah was a toddler, this is around the time the dad kind of skipped out. Um, it was just her and Mariah. And then it, this is her and Mariah. Mariah and her mom when Mariah was probably like six or seven. Uh, oh my gosh, it's not... Okay, this is Mariah's mom sitting on the couch. Then this is Mariah's uh, boyfriend back in the day. This is not Mariah's dad or anything. It's just like her little boyfriend she took pictures with. And then y'all know Arianne. This is her and Arianne for, uh, I think, Homecoming maybe for their senior year or something. I don't remember. But yeah, just some little pictures. Her and Arianne again. So her and Arianne are like best friends. But yeah, and then we got a picture of her and her mom. The same picture you've seen at the scrapbook. This is Mariah's mom's favorite picture of her and Mariah. Mariah was like a redhead when she was born. She kind of grew out of that and her hair's like dark now. But yeah, so that's the living room. Very like simple and old school. This is Mariah's room right here. So this is exactly how she left it. A little all over the place. Uh, we got a picture of her and Ariane when, when they went out to brunch. I don't know why she got this picture of her and Brandon because, yeah. Um, but Mariah's bed. 
very cute. Got her little desk area, her TV. This is Mariah's closet. She left some clothes hanging. Yeah, she got a little DVD, some hair extension, braiding hair and stuff. So that is Mariah's room, nothing too major. Very, you know, teen-like. Of course, Mariah has stopped by here and there, but she hasn't been here in a, a little while since her sophomore year started, so it's been a minute. Um, this is the kitchen area. Um, then we got a little pantry. I didn't really put much in here, but we got some little cans and a broom. Um, then the kitchen area where her mother cooks her good home cook meals. We got some cornbread and some sweet potatoes, yams, or whatever you call them. Little sink area, refrigerator. It's a real basic one floor, two bedroom, one bathroom situation. This is Mariah's mom's room, Miriam's room. I love it. It is so like just sleek and sophisticated. I love how I decorated this. Um, the wallpaper, I love it. Chef Kiss, the mirror. Um, just real, you know, modern, sophisticated. Some of her clothes are hanging up. Then she has like a little perfume, little station. Yeah, and she got a little TV, you know, where she watches her TV and stuff. A little seating area so she can read books. And then right here is just the bathroom that they shared, so pretty basic. I don't know why I still have this baby potty there, but Mariah literally grew up here, so she was a newborn and they just lived here ever since. Shower, yeah, so I'm gonna have her bond with her mom a little bit just so you can see, you know, how she interacts with her mom and stuff. That'll probably be the end of the LP because I think this is reaching that three hour mark. But y'all don't care because y'all love listening to me talk and playing this game. So Mariah's about to head in with her mom. I'm gonna have them probably sit together. And oh my gosh, I'm in Mariah's room. They sit together and watch TV on this old TV. Watch TV together. They can talk. Oh, okay. Mariah's mom is heading in. Oh, Mariah has to pee really, really bad. Okay. We're going to cheat that up, actually, because we don't got time to play, well, play around with Mariah. Look just alike. Y'all see how much alike they look? Twins. She is super focused on that TV. Y'all see her? She barely blinking. Alright. Oh, not Kendall Canyon. Cannon. Hi, Mariah. Uh, looks like he's offering her a clickbait writer job. We're going to decline it. I'm actually going to have Mariah ask her mom a few questions, have them talk, chat up, not tell you smash partner, uh, recommend skincare routine. Let's recommend a skincare routine, tell her how our face been glowing in college. Um, let's see, mornings, ask about her plans for today. And then let's do one more. Um, Maybe we can apologize for how we were talking to her this morning or earlier. Because she was talking to her kind of crazy. Like, excuse me, I birthed you and freaking held you in, you know. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, child. I don't even know at this point. Let me put the walls up. Got the bugs coming all in here and stuff. All right, Mariah is moody to treat her best friend and make them a good breakfast. Oh, she want to make her mom some breakfast. It's 11 o'clock, so it's brunch time. I don't even think they can even get to the stove. I, I think it was kind of like in the way, but I'm going to attempt to have Mariah to make some breakfast. Let's see. Serve brunch. Let's make some. Dang, she has limited options. Let's do eggs and toast. I don't know. Last time I tested out this house, 
there was an issue with getting to the stove and cooking. And I think it was like all the stuff on the counter. But Mariah's mom, I don't know what she's doing, but she's just chilling. We're attempting to make her some breakfast. Okay, so she can hook up some brunch. Oh, not her saying it's inappropriate. Uh, girl, boo. Y'all seen that? Her mom said, <laughs> this is inappropriate. Please stop. Like, girl, bye. Bye. I'm just trying to make us breakfast, mom. Dang. That's messed up. It'll be so funny if she kick us out for doing this. We're just making you breakfast. Um, resetting her. Because, girl, leave us alone. Okay? Just leave us alone. Dove, my boy. All right, it looks like we might be done with the eggs and toast. I don't know. Okay, enough is enough. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I'm dead. Nope. I really need to get whatever people were telling me to get the always welcome reward because that's kind of messed up. Okay. She's about to try, try, probably try to tell her something again. Leave us alone, girl. Okay, this is what I'm about to do. Okay, so I added Miriam to the family because I'm just sick and tired of her trying to tell Mariah to leave. Um... She's a yoga assistant. She makes 50 an hour, so she is really active and really into, you know, yoga things, I guess. I don't know. But, um, she's dehydrated, so I'm gonna actually have her grab some water and mind her freaking business. Because she kept trying to tell Mariah to stop doing what she was doing. Like, no. Like, what? Because at this point, I'm about to have you resume it if you keep trying to tell her to stop. Drink your water and mind your business. Okay, she's about to chat with Mariah. Alright, Mariah finished the eggs and toast. Mariah learned the recipe for spaghetti and strawberry cake. Alright, so Mariah looks like she's about to grab a serving and then I'm gonna have Miriam grab a serving. Y'all, that just really blew me how she kept trying to tell her to stop. Like, this is your whole job making you brunch. All right, Mariah, sit down and eat. Sabine Saquinario Sabark. Luffy Garang. Kitsune. So Oh. oh. Not y'all beefing, like... I'm about to get a little cute little picture. Alright, she's about to ask her mom what's her problem. Like, yeah, for real. Like, what's your problem? You kept telling us you didn't want us to cook. Let's pretend she was trying to tell Mariah, like, you about to burn up my kitchen, you can't cook. Because Mariah really can't cook. Let's check the quality of this. Oh, it's excellent. Don't play with her. She is not one of them. She is not one of them. Oh my gosh. Y'all are beefing, like, really? Like, okay. Brendan just text Mariah. Hey, I heard you became friends with Fallon Carmichael. Or it says, I heard you and Fallon Carmichael are good friends now. It was like some you're clearly getting popular. You're a good person to know. Yeah, yeah. Don't be trying to be all up on me when I get all famous and known out here, okay? All right, so they're eating their little eggs and toast. Check your tone from asking about Sim's attitude. Her mom got a little bit of an attitude. Right now, she's about to stretch. 
Looks like what's going on being around arguing Sims. Um, aggravating conversation. I'm dead, y'all. All right, whatever. Um, I'm gonna have Mariah. Mariah's about to go boost her confidence, okay? In the mirror. Let's check her needs. All her needs are pretty good. Okay, she outside running. She working. She had to stop and stretch. Okay. Period. Okay. Clean up. I don't know if I put a dishwasher. I don't know if they don't have a dishwasher. She's going to have to hand wash them. Um, why is it not going in the refrigerator? Like, what the hell? No, she did not just put on some makeup. Oh my gosh, every time they put on makeup, their face messes up. Like, y'all see this? Girl, you look horrific. Got rid of that quick. I right right click that quick. Um, I guess she can't get to the eggs and toast. Oh, I accidentally put it in the sink. Oh, well. All right, let's see if Miriam can invite her sister over. And then her sister's daughter can yell. And then her sister's son can trail. Because y'all just need to really meet Mariah's side of the family. I just feel like it's just necessary. Sit. Christina will be right over. So we're inviting Christina and her kids over. Um... What does she want to do? She really wants to be mischievous to Dynasty and make a drink. All right, I don't think I'm going to have her actually send a text to Angelo. Maybe send him like, oh, I see them. I see uh, her sister. I'm supposed to be doing a slice of life interaction. Um, smartphone, text. Um, send nude, vent about confidence, send a compliment, send food, um, compliment his looks. Let's compliment Angelo's looks. Christina's all the way over there, like, okay. Oh my gosh, Corday just called Mariah and said, Hey, beautiful, do you want to go on a date? Go on a date to gay. Oh my gosh, can I freaking talk? He's asking her out on a date. And no, we're with our family, so no thanks, we're busy. Corday just became good friends with Mariah. What is she doing? He like a champion. Okay, I think they're coming upstairs into the house. Who is this? Okay, that's not Kentrail. All right, so this is, uh, oh, somebody's calling Mariah. I won't be sleeping tonight. Okay, okay. Mariah texts Angelo and said, you know, he look good, whatever, whatever. I seen your little Instagram post. He look good or whatever. And he said, I won't be sleeping tonight. Like, we're going to send some flirty emojis back. All right, looks like um, Christina's coming in. We're waiting on Kentrell, her son. Oh, he's right here. So this is um, Christina's son, Kentrell. He has a daughter. I think her name is... I don't remember what his daughter's name is. I know Mariah's friends with all of them. Um... Uh, he has a daughter. Where's the little kids at? He has a daughter named Kaylin. And then Ken Yale has a daughter named Kennedy. And then her daughter, Kania. I don't know where she's at, but whatever. Let's see if we can invite um, Ken Yale. Invite the whole family over. Shoot. Because I don't think I have Miriam friends with any of them. That's why they didn't pop up. So 
Invite the whole damn family over, child. We having a family cookout in the back. Yeah, we should totally do that. I'm gonna have Miriam hop on a grill for, you know. Might as well, might as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and have her make some hamburgers. She gotta use the bathroom. All right, so this is Mariah's cousin, right? Yep, this is her aunt's son, Kentrell. Kentrell's a little bit older. And she's just inviting the rest of the family over. We having a little cookout down here. She invited his daughter. Okay, so this is Ken Yale's, which is actually Kentrell's niece. Um, this is, okay, so this is Christina, which is Miriam's older sister. This is her daughter, Kenyel. This is her son, Kentrell. And then this is Kentrell's daughter. Ooh! Little Miss Attitude. This is Kentrell's daughter, Kaylin. Her mom's name is, I think, like, let me check. Let me go to MCM Command Center and check what her mom's name is. Her mom's last name is, like, Duffy. Okay, Colby Duffy is her mom. Um, and then this is Kenyel. So Kenyel right here, this is her daughter, Kennedy. She's so cute in her little Looney Tunes outfit. And then this is Christina's husband, Kenneth. Like, y'all need to come on and come inside. Like, why are y'all all the way over here? Okay, so Kenya's on her way, which is Kenyel's other daughter. She's like four or something like that all right whole family we having a barbecue everybody's getting along celebrating you know mariah's accomplishment becoming a delta woman she's down in her in her hometown all right he just walked in looking sad this is uh this is mariah's uh Uncle, Uncle Ken. Why is he looking like that? All right, Kanina should be here. After that, that should be everybody. Oh, she's right here. Everybody's so, uh, I don't know if they're sad or happy to see Mariah. Y'all see, she's thinking about her like, oh my gosh, my cousin is here. All right, so I'm gonna have us all. She finished them burgers quick. Oh my gosh, they're terrible quality, y'all. All right, so let's go ahead and set it as outstanding, and I'm going to have her call the meal. Not her messing up the burgers. That's why it didn't take that long. She messed them up. Who is Mariah going off on? Like, girl, this is why your family be beefing with you. Like, what? I'm going to take a little thumbnail because I kind of like how they look. Uh, Mariah's plum bob is in a way. Oh well. What does she even say to Christina? Look at her little missing teeth. She's so cute. Alright, I think Mariah's mom is about to call the food to meal. She look like she up to no good. Look at her! Just looking evil. Okay. All right, Miriam made some burnt uh, hamburgers. She's about to call the meal. Kania, okay, Kania is back there. Even though we kind of just ate like a couple hours ago, we're eating burgers. This is the little shed. It's just got a, some storage stuff, a little lawnmower and stuff. Yeah, that's the shit. All right, so we're just back here eating, having a good time with family. I really wanted y'all to meet Mariah's family. All right, everybody's grabbing some burgers. Oh, did everybody get a burger? Cause dang, Mariah didn't get one. Mariah look cute. I'm about to take a little picture. Y'all know I always got to give Mariah in her good moments. She look cute. Alright, uh, let me see. Mariah didn't get a plate. 
I might have her chat it up with some of her family, and I'm probably going to end the LP at that point. Um, let me know in the comments if if you watch this far, if y'all like seeing each of the girls in the quads, like backstory, their families, and all that. So let's comp. I don't want to compliment this outfit. I don't want him thinking nothing different. We cousins. Uh, friendly. Ask about his day. Where did Kania go? The older daughter. Oh, she's inside eating. Why she looks sad? Like, what, what's going on? What the heck? Can Trill just became good friends with Mariah? We love that. Bonding with family. They know how to put these plates up. Look at all this. Mariah earned $80 on her day off. We took the day off because we were spending time with family. I'm about to destroy all of these plates because they don't know how to put their plates up, I guess. Um... Oh, wow. Her and her missing teeth got me dead. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this long episode of Mariah in her Delta Sigma Theta journey. And I, I, I oh, 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 something just set on, oh my gosh, y'all. Why the heck, why are you trying to cook? All right, y'all. <laughs> I'll catch y'all in the next episode. <laughs> Been poor, used to play Sims 4.